What's good everybody, it's Batman, and today we're going to be doing another Naruto video, so I want to do something a little different. Um, I'm trying to keep things unique as possible and not do like the, the, you know, the same particular topics that anyone generally does all the time or, you know, whatnot. So I'm trying to do the most unique or, you know, any type of topic that's not really thought of. And overall, I'm currently just sticking to OG Naruto and going to be doing a whole bunch of things to where basically... It just gets to the point where there's really nothing more to do or say, and then we can just move on to Shippuden. So taking it one step at a time, but I'm going to knock out all the unique stuff first, and you name it. And uh, for this video, we're going to be discussing uh, Sasuke against all the participants in the preliminaries tuning exam. So this won't be during the final tuning exams. This will just be in the preliminaries. Um, so, and basically the Sasuke that we'll be discussing, there's going to be two versions There'd be two Tomo Sasuke Prime, which would basically be everything he's done from the land of the ways all the way to the forest of death. And then we'll have Handicap Sasuke, which is basically the one that uh, shows up to the preliminary that's already, you know, fatigued and has like the Curtis Mark and is dealing with all that effects and whatnot. Um, and we'll basically just discuss like who he can win against, who he can, who he'll lose against. And as surprisingly as it may seem, uh, a lot of people, like, even to this day, will think, like, the handicapped Sasuke beats, like, everyone except for, like, you know, let's say maybe Gara and, you know, and things like that, whatever. Um, but, like, he actually surprisingly loses to a lot of people. Like, I'm not even being, like, I'm not lying. Like, at least in my opinion. We'll get to that point. We'll discuss it. But um, but I do have a special guest with me as before. I do have Ken Rock, as always. His, uh, his YouTube be in the description down below. And, um... We're gonna get into this video and we hope you guys enjoy. Um, and we'll also throw in CM1 Sasuke towards the end, um, just for shits and giggles. I'm not gonna be doing CM2 Tutomo or CM23 Tomo. That's a little crazy. You know, yeah, like, you know, like that's just ridiculous. Um, you know what I mean? But, like, you know, it is what it is. So, but we're gonna get into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So, the first thing that we're gonna look at when it comes to the handicapped Sasuke is so the first thing we actually see of like basically we're, i'm just gonna uh, go over like the struggles he basically has um so in this particular skin as you can see like where a person does like a, an attack it's like these wannabe fodder like you know gennings that are attacking team seven with kabuto and they throw a shuriken and like his curse mark has given us so much issues because he's using the shotting gun that's why um he uses his shotting gun to try to help but his body acts up the moment he activates it, and then, like, he can't move, and then he had to get saved by Kabuto, and he's like, what's happening? My body won't obey my commands. So that's already a big problem. The fact that whenever he activates his shotting gun, the curse mark fucks him up. So that's not good. Um, another thing is, he says it right here, where he's like, ow, every time I try to use a shotting gun mirror, I have my power, um, my neck aches, you know, and he's confused. He's like, have I expanded all of my chakra blast or whatever? Like, he doesn't know what's going on. Um, and then here, even soccer is like saying, please withdraw, blah, blah, blah. She's crying. You know, she's like, you're in no shape to fight. She's worried. And she has a point, you know, because he's basically severely handicapped at this point. And she knows that the mark has given him some issues and he's in pain and shit. So, and then another thing that's also a problem is the superiors are aware of the mark. And they even said that if that thing shows any sign or anything, they would disqualify him. So technically meaning that would be an L by default as well. Um, so... We're just putting that in there, um, you know, so like basically like that's just not an option. You know, uh, they would cancel the fight and they say it multiple times. And then here, Kakashi even tells them do not use the shotting gun. And he's like, how did you know? Um, and basically, Kakashi's like, if the spell, oh man, I cannot like speak my body. But uh, if the spell mark on your neck is allowed to run rampant, the consequences will change your life. He's like, I figured. Um, blah blah, you know, whatever. Like we see it or anything, will force you to stop. The match will be suspended. So shotting guns a no go. You can't do any of that, whatever. Um, but it gets even worse for this particular sauce game, to where he says the mark seems to respond to my chakra. If I use my chakra carelessly, the mark will take over my psyche and calling upon and expending all the power I have. So for the purposes of this match, not only is the shotting gun not, you know, a, you know, an option. But I also have to be restrained in using my chakra even for the normal arts. And that's important to put into consideration because as we should know with normal arts, that would apply for Taijutsu, you know what I mean? That would apply for, you know what I mean? Using your chakra with Taijutsu, for Ninjutsu, Fireball, the Shotting Gun, you name it. So, and that's a big deal. That's a huge handicap because if you can't use your chakra 
to enhance like your strikes and taijutsu and ninjutsu and all that, whatever you name it, you know, that's going to be a fucking problem while your opponent is nine out of ten times will also be using chakra. Like even Lee can use chakra in his, in his body with his arms and legs and shit, you know? So that's a big, big issue. Um, but before I continue any uh, more forward, uh, what do you have any thoughts on that, Ken? Uh, do you also agree that would apply to overall and stuff and everything? And I'll and I'll also show the scans to prove that as well. But you know, just if you wanted to say anything or whatnot or add to that, yeah, because we definitely know because the th problem with at least Sasuke when he gets into preliminaries is you know he's not fully arrested. Yeah, we know that. That's another Sasuke problem gets too. Lower in chakra, the curse mark tends to take over. It starts to show his influence. Like, even when Sasuke gets mastery over it later on, yeah. um, when he starts to run low on terms, right, it can still take over. It does this against Itachi as well. They're in there for the exactly. So Sasuke generally has to be careful, and he, even being more careful, at least he has to be, because if it shows at all, he loses, and he really can't have that happen here. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. And so, the, and to further solidify that, this way you guys don't think I'm lying or bullshitting or anything like that or whatever. Like, this is like... Literally, what happens is the guy. Uh, right so basically, what happens is uh, they're like, "All right, begin." He's like, "Shall I start?" Sasuke's like, "Go for it." Okay, he does his chakra in his hand. He gets some uh, shuriken. He throws it. Sa uh, Sasuke also throws shuriken or whatever, and then basically um, he ducks. Sasuke ducks or whatever, um, and then another. Oh, like right here, so. When he throws the, the before he ducks, when he throws his shuriken, okay, and he goes to like block it or whatever with his his kunai, like he like basically groans in pain. He's like ah, and it shows like even the mark emphasizing that he's in pain, and you know, and that basically gives the other dude an opening. But he's still able to basically dodge just in time, and basically what happens is you know he gets down whatever the guy runs up because he saw him groan in pain. He tries to punch him. He punches like a hole through the fucking you know ground. But Sasuke's able to dodge. He uses, like, some basic martial arts because, you know, they are humans. So martial arts would technically work the same even if he's not using chakra. And he uses, like, some martial arts and grappling techniques. And he's able to get the guy into a submission and puts him in an arm bar, basically. Um, and that's basically what happens. But then that goes really bad. And we already know uh, the result of that because the guy basically absorbs his chakra. You know what I mean? Um, and bite because he just has to touch you. So it actually backfired, even though it was a, an understandable and reasonable counter to use in that situation. That was probably, if anything, what I would probably even do if I, if I was in his shoes, you know. So, um, but then he, now he's having really big trouble because he's getting his chakra absorbed. Sasuke, like, kicks him away. He's like, get off, whatever. And then the fight continues um, to where, you know, basically Sasuke is basically about to lose the fight. But Naruto yells at him and is like, hey, like, what are you doing? You look pathetic, blah, blah, blah. Even Gar is like, you know, is this the best he can do? And, you know, and then, like, Neji's like, hmm, like, what the hell? Like, he looks pretty pathetic. And blah, blah. So everybody's, like, you know, thinking, like, oh, like, this is, like, what, what a shit performance he's doing, basically. But then he finally is, you know, from Naruto yelling at him, whatever, and he sees Lee in the stands. And he, like, gets a light bulb, basically. And he finally incorporates Chakra into his body. And uh, basically moves and reacts, and he's able to kick the dude up in the air using Lee's technique. But the problem, though, when he did that, of course, like I said before, if he uses Chakra with Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, or even uses a shotting gun, the curse mark is going to fuck him up. So he immediately, like, coughed up blood. He says, crap. He's like, ow, the same way every time. The curse mark's going all over his body, whatever. Now it's a problem. And then he has to have, like, a willpower moment. He fights it, and then he sends it back. And then basically he's like, all right, I'm ready. And he starts, like, you know, doing some combos in the air, whatever. He does, uh, you know, some techniques. He's able to beat him in, like, martial arts. And then he lands a blow and uses gravity, basically, against him and, and is able to knock him out. Um, and then, basically, the fight ends. And then, basically, uh, Sasuke says in the end, he's like, Lee, I owe my life to what I was able to draw from you. If I hadn't seen your moves in close when we uh, went head to head, this would have really turned out really bad. But that trick really wiped me out. I guess it's not something I can use often. He's like, ow, or whatever, you know? So, and the only thing that's really mentioned or said after that is, let me get that pulled up as well. The fuck is that?
Hold on one second, Ken. Like all the seconds? <laughs> yeah. Okay, right here. So then a uh, guy compliments on it further and he's like, the moves of the Lotus series, a technique of high speed Tai Chi Chi physical skills requires a body that's been gradually trained and honed over a long period. The Lotus, you know, or is not a simple thing that can be mastered in a single day, even though the use of the shotting gun and the expressiveness of that final move, like student like teacher A. Kakashi, all of you kids are the same kind of punk you were. And then Ten Ten's kind of impressed in a way, and she's like, there's last year's top rookie, Hyuka Neji, and it looks like this year it would be a Chia Sasuke. If they fought each other, who would win? Kakashi's like, he's quite a boy coming to the full flower of his shotting gun ability at such a young age. So, and that's basically all you have with that particular fight and interaction. So, with all that into consideration, before I do move forward and dissect that and then, you know, correlate that to basically his matches of everyone he's going to be going against, um, Ken, do you have anything to add or what's it called? Or do you, uh, is there anything else you wanted to kind of put out there for, you know, everyone to kind of put into consideration of how this would affect his, his other fights if you went against someone else? Well,. The only thing I can definitely add is the fact that he didn't do a whole lot in that moment. Like, he only used, like, his proper to boost his speed for, like, a brief moment of time. Yeah. And I think he used the shotgun gun for a brief moment of time, if I know correctly. But it the doesn't, point of the matter it doesn't is show either, that he uses a shotgun gun, but it implies that he had to in order to use that technique. So. Either or. If, it, if he uses a shotgun gun, that just barely helps them. Yeah. Because it means he can only use jutsus for a brief moment of time before yeah. his body shuts down. And he was in base the whole time, Ken. So, like, like the only mo basically what I'm saying, if we said he did have the shotting gun in order to do that move of what Lee did to him, what's it called? Uh, you know, and that's if, because, like, let's be real, like, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is legit, but I don't think you need to have your shotting gun active in order to use a technique that you already know in your mind and saw before when you had the shotting gun active. You know what I mean? Like, you would just, you would just technically know it. You know what I mean? Like, you'd copy it. So, what's it called? But either way, regardless of that, it, it, the, he would have only activated the shotting gun at that exact moment when he kicks him in the air, and then it Im immediately went away because when he eventually jumps in the air, his eyes are not, don't have a shotting gun. Like, it's, it's his base, you know? So... Regardless whether you think it is or not, he's in base the whole time either way. And then, like I said, just from that one particular moment, he gets immediately fucked from doing that. So, but yeah, so that's basically what I have to say on that is if that not showing it shows that he can't use jutsus for like even like enhance his speed with the body flicker technique for long periods of time. Yeah. So that's something to keep in mind. And that was only the body flicker if you take on a shining idea. Exactly, and that, that's basically what he does, like, he's, like, dodging the guy's attacks or whatever, you know, and everybody's, like, he's gonna lose or getting extremely worried, and, like, Kakashi, like, even Kakashi, he's, like, it's over, and, and then, like, he, like, bam, out of nowhere, body flicker, kicks him in the, in the head, launches all the way up, you know, goes, whatever, and then people are, like, oh, like, you know, that's Lee's move, and, and then he's in the air, and then the curse mark starts fucking him up, and then it goes from there, you know, so... But anyway, so now we put that all, uh, all the cards on the table. We're going to explain why that's important and why that matters. So the first matchup we're going to even discuss is going to... We'll start with the, the, the fodders. How about that? We'll start with all the Ws, basically. Soccer and Eno. Okay, I'm going to be real. I The same thing would happen. Soccer and Eno probably win. <laughs> like, like, Soccer and Eno are tougher than you would think. Yeah. And I don't think Sasuke, at least if he can't use his... Chakra properly can get in and do that. Yeah, like the way I see it is like fighting in soccer and you know, like he's gonna be able to react. Um, I do think he would beat him in martial arts. So like, you know, I mean, if he's able to do it to that one dude who's using chakra and everything, blah blah, like he would be able to do the same with them. Um, so like, but like the funny thing is, like if it's soccer going against him, I actually do believe she would be like nerfed in a way <laughs> to where she's not really gonna want to have to fight him. You know, so like that would kind of give him more of the edge. But either way, I, I, the way I just see it is Sasuke would Wait, still... are we going... And I probably should have asked this before. But are we going with these characters in character? Um, What's it called? It, it could be it could be in character or bloodlust, and it doesn't matter. But... If it's in character, Sakura and Eno just throw the mask. Like, I might get in because they don't... Bruh. Really <laughs> You're right. If it's bloodlusted, Eno forces Sasuke to have to run around before yeah. he the mind transfer. And I think Sakura is... Because Sokka, at that point in time, she's gone through the tra same training as them. Yeah. She's got good chakra control, so she can play keep away. 
Yeah. Like, I don't think she's going to get in close with Sasuke. And he's going to be forced to also have to use his chakra in order to get close. Yeah. And at that point in time, she can just use her enhanced strength to take him down. Mm-hmm. And, and that, she's also and, did have really good genjutsu as well. Yeah, like, like Sakura, I think she just loses no matter what. Um, like, don't get me wrong, she can do substitution, you know, whatever, kunai's, but... Sasuke is just going to beat her within that game and ballpark. And then, he, like I said, he can just do the, the Taiji technique he did, you know, on that one dude, and then she loses. Um, Eno, I don't, like, if she's serious and she's fighting against him and not in, let's say it's not in character either, and she's not nerfed or any or whatever bullshit, I think, I do think that's going to be interesting and tough for him. And the reason why is because I don't think she would engage in close combat with her. I don't think she's that fucking stupid. You know what I mean? So... I do think, like what Ken was saying, to try to be at distance, you know, those shurikens, whatever, he would still be able to react, but, you know, whenever he reacts, the mark's going to be hurting him like it showed in, in that one fight. So she's going to have one opportunity to where he's, like, vulnerable. Maybe she'll try to do something, but he'll still react or whatever like he did before. And I don't think she's going to jump in and try to be aggressive and do close combat like the other dude did to him. I do think she probably will try to shoot him with that one thing, you know what I mean? And if she lands that, that's GG's. You know what I mean? Like, Sasuke, <laughs> he loses, you know? And that that's another thing. Like, now thinking about it, going back to that fight of Sakura and Ino, um, when she did that to... Like, Sakura was aware of the technique, right? Like, she just knew about it, right? Like, On um, the Minecraft part? Yeah, yeah. Like, she knew. Like, she started running, right? I don't remember oh, that yeah, fight. she was fully aware. Yeah, so, like, if she's aware, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume Sasuke would be too, right? Or no? I don't think because Sasuke if, was, if Sasuke's not was, aware, then he then he get he definitely gets caught by that. So yeah, yeah. Sasuke I mean, it's, it's pretty. I think it's pretty um, well explained that Sakura was aware of it because she was friends with Eno. Yeah, so like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he's aware, then he just has to do a similar strategy, and I do think he would he would still be able to pull it off. You know, um, but if he's not, I think he's fucked because if she starts putting her hands up and Sasuke's like, "What what is she trying to do?" Bam, he gets hit. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's just how it would go, you know? Like, so cause, so basically with Eno, as crazy as it sounds, it can go either way. It's either Sasuke does with the same thing he did before, body flicker, kicks her in the fucking jaw, same thing, whatever. Or she lands her transfer technique and he loses. Whatever you she think. She has another her. trick up her hand that's going to be a problem for Sasuke. Yeah. Like, if she wants, she can always cut her hair and do the same trip trap that she did with Sakura. Because Sakura, like I said, she knows Eno's tricks, and yeah. she, even she wasn't ready for that. And she was able to hit Sakura, too, yeah, with the hair shit that she did. You know, so she does that, that, and throws a kunai. And, and mind you, Sakura is, like, really, forehead. really good at chakra control. So she's moving at full speed. While Sasuke, he can't move at full speed the whole time. He's just at normal human speed, basically. You know what I mean? Like, like as once again, as crazy as it sounds, Sakura and Eno would have the advantage. They would be using Chakra they, to enhance their movement, everything overall. While Sasuke, he can't do that. You know? So, like... <laughs> he gets the line barrage in, he wins. Yeah. The problem is, I think he's going to have too much of a hard time getting it on these people. Because I don't think they're going to underestimate some scale like the other guy did. Exactly. So, it, it's, it's interesting, but what I will say for the most part is um, Sakura, I think he, he would still win. Um, but even though, like, you know... What's it called? But like, like I said, he would just have to do the same thing. The lion brushing, and she's fucked. Um, you know, it can go either way. But uh, you know, that's just basically how that would go. Um, but off to the next person will be Choji. Now with Choji, I do think he beats Sasuke. Oh yeah. And the reason why is, it, like, you guys got to remember, like Sasuke when he starts in the fight, he's immediately you know using shuriken, whatever, blah blah, feeling his opponent. He's going to do the same thing with Choji. He's going to feel his opponent, whatever. Choji's immediately going to go in his ball thing like he always does. He's going to charge at Sasuke, and Sasuke has nothing to, to, to counter that. He can't do ninjutsu. He can't use, you know, fucking Shidori. Obviously, he doesn't have that yet. He can't do the Lion's Barrage on, on Choji when he's in that state. So dead ass, as sad as this sounds, Choji beats him in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he beats him in one shot, but there's not anything to stay has going from like, like he was saying, like what does he do? Like second, he's in the human bowl. We're like his best bet is to dodge Choji until he makes himself dizzy. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, the dodge. And the problem with that is, like, he could probably be able to dodge one attack, 
But we saw what happened in that fight. Whenever he used his chakra to react and dodge, it, it made him vulnerable for a moment. And that's when the guy tried to like seize the opportunity. And then he was able to react. And then he's like forced on the ground now. And the guy's about to like get on top of him. And then he like does some, you know, grappling technique to get the advantage. So like with fucking Choji, he was like a, a, a in my opinion, a better Taijutsu specialist than that one dude he fought. Okay. As a big ass, strong fucking ball, basically that can ram you and, and really fuck you up. Like, bare minimum, he dodges a, the first hit, but then if he moves again, tries to get, like, he's fucked. Like, he can't use grappling techniques on that. He can't, you know, like, like what does he do, you know? So, like, if it goes the same way as it went in that one fight, I do think he's taking the L. The only way he could beat that Choji is if he does the Lion Barrage body flicker instantaneously. And I, and I don't think that's the case because... He didn't do that immediately in that fight. It took for him to get yelled at by Naruto and to look at Lee. So that's not like a, you know what I mean, like a, a get out of jail free card, basically. You know, now if we just like say like, you know, bloodlusted or like automatically go full power, whatever, then sure, Sasuke still wins. You know, he does that technique. Choji's up in the air. Like the I, the only way I can see Choji to get out of that is if he does his ball in the ball thing in the air. And I don't know if he could be able to do that. Like, if he gets launched up in the air and he's floating, could he go back into the ball to try to the, to fight back against Sasuke? Or do you think he's going to react the same as that other dude did? What do you think, Ken? I, no, I think he just hits him on Choji. I, even if he tries to react similar to him, yeah. those who specifically needed his sound cannons just to avoid getting hit by Choji. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. And then, like, and then like when Choji hit the wall, he, like, then goes to strike him. And then he, like, uses his sound thing and then just one-shots him or whatever, so... Um, he had to, like, make Choji dizzy, similar to the strategy Sasuke would have. Yeah. And that's just not working here, because Sasuke can't do anything like that. Exactly, so... But, yeah, so, no matter like, what... Honestly, even... Actually, we'll get into that later. Never mind. Yeah. So, like, that's basically I'll say. I, I, either way, I do think Choji also wins. Um, like I said, the only way Choji loses... Is if Sasuke like instantaneously so, like if it's like let's say that you're debating or this or like they're, you're say like they're both bloodlusted right and you just immediately grant him that technique to do okay then sure he lands it on Choji Choji's in the air but it, and then it just comes down to who wins in the air basically whether if you think Choji goes back to the ball and beats him or if Sasuke beats him whatever and still able to, to use gravity and land those Taijutsu blows and shit but that's basically all you got guys so um, I think Choji wins well, no matter what but. You know, yeah. Because that's the thing with bloodlusted. Like Choji doesn't need to be on the ground to do the human boulder technique. There's that's no reason saying. to say he would. Yeah, I don't see why. Even he if he did, so. he still has like partial expansion that he can use. So he can like smack. Well, he can only right he can only air. do that with the pills, though. To be fair, so I think he can still do it, but even if he can't, he still got the um, human boulder. Yeah, the human boulder. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, no matter what, I don't see what the issue is. Like, even if I was debating this, like. Why would he not be able to do human boulder in the air? It's it's what's the difference? I think there's you know? even a statement from Shikamaru, yeah. like around that time, where he says Choji is the physically strongest person there. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying that too. And then Choji, he can use chakra too, you know. So it's like you have that, you know. So, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's that. So Choji, what's it called? Then sure, maybe Sasuke can pull it off in a bloodlusted scenario and death the lotus technique and whatever wins, you know. Um, but to the next one. This would be Kiba. I'm gonna be real with you. Kiba slams. He fucking oh. slams his shit. <laughs> like, Terrible. No, if if, if he thought it was bad out. against fucking that one dude that can absorb chakra by touching you, this man is dead ass a brawler and a Taijutsu specialist. There's two of him, okay, and he's able to move so fast to where like, and I'm also gonna show this because like a lot of people actually underestimate Kiba. But, like, he was giving Naruto a hard time. And even though Naruto was technically fatigued and also nerfed to a degree as well because he couldn't rely on the QB chakra, and he also couldn't, um, he also had unstable chakra control, and even Jiraiya states that verbatim. So, like, he was way weaker than the version that was even in the, the Forest of Death or even in the final training exams. But either way, like, like that Naruto was having a hard time. And he actually had to use his chakra to move at full speed the entire time, or he would be fucked. You know what I mean? So, 
Oh, even then, he was fucked. The only reason why he won is because he got lucky and accidentally. Yeah, and yeah, and, and that too. Yeah, he farted. <laughs> so, like, so right here, Kiba does, like, you can see the chakra all around Kiba, whatever. He he literally moves so fast, Naruto, like, can't even react. He actually gets speed blitzed, and Kiba just elbows him. One movement, okay? And then, like, Naruto, you know, we all know what happens. Pulls an Naruto, gets back up. I don't ever give up, whatever, blah, blah. And, like, right here. So, then, like, you know, his dog goes in the thing. They're both fucking him up, whatever. They, they're doing their smoke bombs, doing their fang over fang. And then Naruto says right here, even if I drive all of my chakra down into my legs, it still takes everything I got to just evade him. At this rate, I'm fucked. What do I do? You know, and then Keep was like, this is my chance. They're about to end the fight and land the final fang over fang. Because they did hit Naruto with one fang over fang, and he was bleeding really bad in his head. Um, and he was bleeding on his shoulders because he got scratched by uh, Kiba's claws. But he still got up because Naruto's stubborn. Like, he's, he's a stubborn motherfucker, you know? So, um, and either way, but the fight was about to, basically about to be over, and Naruto would have lost. But once again, as always, for the plot, he farts. Kiba, you know, that's basically kryptonite for Kiba. <laughs> you know, like... Fucking, uh, to where he can smell, like, ten times, you know what I mean, or whatever, like, some shit where he can put chakra into his nose and whatnot, you know? So, like, he really, really got fucked from that, and I'll even show that. He's, like, by gathering uh, his chakra to his nose, Kiba can multiply his sense of smell to tens of thousands of times the normal strength so that he can, uh, you know, know between individuals by scent alone, blah, blah. So imagine that and smelling a fart. Obviously, he gets fucked by it. And then that gives Naruto the opening. He does the same thing that he saw from Sasuke. Creates his own, like, Lion's Barrage technique. Or, barrage. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, the, kind of similar to the Lotus, but it's not the Lotus. Um, it's like a bootleg version of it. He uses gravity, and he's able to end the fight, and that's how it goes. So, and another thing also to put into consideration right here. Um, Naruto's getting pissed with Kiba, like, about him using, like, the, the pellets... And he's like, that's cheating, whatever. And they're like, it's permitted. The military ra uh, ration pellets are acceptable ninja tools. You know, and they're like, military ra And Toji explains what it is. He's like, the oh, pellets are a class of nutritional supplements. People say that taking a single pill allows a soldier to fight for three days and nights without rest. They're high in protein, are easily absorbed, and they have relaxing effect of vein as they boost energy, which we know energy. Yeah, obviously. I'm sure I've had one. <laughs> yeah, right? Um... What's it called? They're called whatever. I don't even know what the fuck that word is. I'm not even going to say that. But either way, he's like, by now, both Kiba and Akamura's chakra are probably double their normal level. And we do know chakra does equate to power and strength. Obviously, you do need good chakra control in order to make full use of it. But either way, what we do know bare minimum is it's double. So this man's a fucking monster. And then Asuma's like, this is bad news for Naruto. In battle situations... The pellets act as a medicine that distribute the user's chakra uh, uniformly to every part of his body, making its functions as an animal does. For Kiba, it's ideal. So, if it was like Kiba, just in normal, whatever, Naruto could probably be able to react, whatever, you name it. But the moment Kiba took those fucking pellets, it was like GG's. You know what I mean? Like, Naruto got speed blitz, then Naruto gets up. Now he's using all of his chakra in his body to try to keep up dodge, but he's still getting hit. Then gets hit by fang over fang. Then about to lose the fight, and we all know what happens. So, if you put all that in consideration, okay, against Sasuke? Come on, bro. <laughs> Something a lot of people tend to forget is Sasuke and Naruto both saw each other as, like, um, worthy rivals. Yeah. Which means any feats that Naruto and Sasuke have, Naruto has Sasuke would have as well. Yeah. Which means any problems they would have, it would be fight versa. So if Naruto had that much problem and he had to get that lucky, Sasuke isn't getting there. That's what I'm saying, dude. So it's like, especially this handicapped Sasuke, like, he's getting fucked. Like, dead ass, like, getting fucked. Um, whether if you think he just, like, gets one shot in the first speed blitz move, um, or if you think, like, you know, after the Fang of Fang, then Sasuke is fucked. Either way, Sasuke will get beat up. He's gonna be fucked. Even if Sasuke lands a line, Lion's Barrage, like, that's body flicker technique, we grant that whether if he's bloodluster or let's say eventually happens in character and let's say Sasuke pulls a Naruto and he's being stubborn and he doesn't want to like like give up or whatever okay the other Kiba can just help he can go in the fang thing and he's still fucked you know what I mean like he has help you know so 
that's not even an option. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure you would agree with that as well, Ken. Oh, yeah. One of the biggest problems Sasuke has here is he has to get really lucky and hit the right one with the line fraud for the first time. Yeah. Even if he does hit it. Or he has to hit it twice. Exactly. So... Because uh, he has to beat um, Kiba. But if he takes out Akamaru, Kiba can still use Fangle for Fang. Exactly. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So, like... It is what it is at the end of the day, but that's basically what you have. Uh, Kiba slams. I, I just I don't want to hear it. Um, against like the prime Sasuke, I think that's actually an interesting battle, and that's a whole other thing. But we'll eventually get into that. But handicap, he gets absolutely fucking folded. There's nothing he can do. He's fucked. Okay, so yeah. we'll do that. Um, next person we'll move on to will be Dozu. He slams as well. Like I'm gonna be real. Like fucking. Uh, what it took for Sasuke to go into CM1 in order to like completely fold those sound individuals, all three of them, or not all three of them, just two, Z uh, Zaku and Dozu, and to where Dozu would like just from, because Dozu's an experienced ninja. Like, if anything, I think he was already tuning, in my opinion. He was very smart, that man was very experienced. Fight. Yeah, um, what's it called? You know, like he was no joke, you know what I mean? And he was even willing to fight Neji. He did get scared of Neji. He was like, oh, those eyes, and he was worried, but. He felt enough, like, he felt confident enough to where he could still fight him or whatever. He even felt confident enough where he could fight Gara and, you know, even fight with him or whatever. But we know what happened with that. But either way, you know, so Dozu's no joke. Like, he's not, a, a, like, a little bitch or anything like that, you know. So, um, and when he had to go to CM1 to just make him basically concede and give up the fight and then bully Zaku, you know. So, and that Dozu was also able to fight Lee, even though Lee bullied him. Okay, and Lee was stronger than all of them. Okay, either way, it's still impressive for him to, you know, to still fight against that particular Lee because what we do know is that particular Lee folded Sasuke. Okay, so at the end of the day, like, D Dozu's no joke. A lot of people try to, like, really shit on him or think he's, like, some fucking fodder, like, soccer, you know, guy. That's not the case at all. He's really strong and he has sauna hacks. So, bottom line is, long story short, he would also slam Sasuke. He would use Chakra to, for his movements. He would fight. He'd get up close like what the other dude did. And the problem, though, even if Sasuke dodges, okay, he will still get hit by his sound attack. You know what I mean? The worst so, way to look at this, the way to look at this, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Um, you got to keep in mind that Sasuke at this point is forced to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat while Dosu can technically be classed as a long range to mid range fighter. Yeah. Which Kakashi just states is the weakness to hand to hand. Well, Dozu was able to use his sound and completely destroy a big ass tree that Rock Lee threw at him. Like Rock Lee put his arm underground and fucking grabbed the roots and shit and brought out like all this roots and tree to block his sound attack and he just completely destroys that shit. Like just shatters oh, yeah. it. And 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 I'll even show that for you guys too. Like, so his sound is no joke. Like, that shit, like, is really fucking strong. Um, and a lot of people just forget about that. But here, like, right here. The dude holds so, back the human boulder jutsu. Yes, yeah, so like, in this right here, like, Lee, like, pulls this big-ass fucking wood tree root, whatever the fuck you call it, out. And he just, like, grabs it and completely blows that shit up. You know what I mean? And then we know what happens after that. Like, then Lee, like, fucking just beats his ass and speed blitzes him. But... You know, so his sound's no joke. We know what his hacks can do. Like, even if you dodge his punch or whatever, he can use his sound thing and it fucks up your eardrums and shit. And then, like, you lose your balance. And, and then if he, like, play, if he plays, like, his little sound gadget and uh, it, it, like, makes you hear it, like, a million times over and you just, like, collapse, you know, because your ears are being fucked. So, overall, like... Dozu's no joke. And I just don't... Like, in character, Sasuke's gonna be fucked. Like, he's just a more, like harder version of the of the opponent that he fought in the preliminaries you know and uh what what, what, what do you think on that ken like you, you agree like you know like those who takes this yeah so and then like even, said, even like if, it, even if it's blood lusted like sure he get he lands the lotus technique on him right but do no, he does it even if it's blood lusted it's worse because those who just wouldn't get close because he has no reason to yeah, yeah, that is true. Like, so, you, so you think if they were both bloodlusted, they both move at full speed at that exact moment that Sasuke is not kicking him in the face like Lee did to him, like he would actually block um, it or Sasuke, something. So the problem with that is um, Sasuke would be very limited in the amount of chakra he can use. Yeah. yeah. So, and then even then, because he can only use it for a few seconds, the other guy was kind of close to Sasuke when he did it. 
Yeah. So he would have to spend that entire time getting in close while Dosu would be backing up. So he would have free face off case slightly faster by the time he gets to him. It's now more than likely about it, he's going to shut down. Now thinking about it, Ken, I actually do. I actually agree. I do think Dosu wouldn't, even if they were bloodlusted, I don't even think he's getting hit by that uh by the kick because obviously when lee does it he's using the first gate so there's nothing he can do like he's just getting completely speed blitz like sasuke is not using first gate you know what i mean so that that's no. the first thing second okay um obviously dozy is not you know what i mean like he can use all his truck or whatever so even when he goes basically what happened is we see weighted lee bullying sasuke with not even the first gate just with his normal speed you know what i mean like <laughs> he's just bullying him and if Dozu is able to fight weighted Lee or at least you know like fight against weighted Lee and not be bullied you know to where they're both like relative basically in a sense or like you know on even ground and then Lee's like all right I'm gonna end this fight and use the first gate and just get get him out of the picture you know like do the math like that means Dozu should just be beating his ass too you know so it's even worse because the Sasuke that was getting bullied by that Lee was him with his two Tomo. Yeah, that, that was full power Sasuke. You know, that was basically the Sasuke in the Force to Death, Prime Sasuke. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like another yeah. thing to keep in mind is those who actually see Sasuke as a huge threat. Yeah, and even with Choji, like we didn't know was a threat, he still kept his distance. Exactly, so he really is going to keep his distance from Sasuke here. That's what I'm saying. And so, and just to show you guys, like, and those who also, even though like Kabuto's extremely holding back, but like this is him like striking Kabuto and like Kabuto moves and. What's it called? And like, and he still gets affected from like the sound thing. Um, what's it called? And Sasuke right here. This is the same Sasuke retard. This is technically prime. He's like, wow, so quickly I barely saw him move. So like, Sasuke even says like, he's like, I barely saw him move. Like he's so quick or whatever. You know, Kabuto's like, I see this kind of attack. Whatever, blah blah. And he's like, what's going on? He dodged a blow, but something broke his glasses. So Sasuke's confused as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, so. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, you know, this Sasuke is getting folded. You know, and then, like, Dozu, like, talks shit or whatever, blah, blah. And then he's like, I know Kabuto ducked that um, blow, so what happened to him? Why did he vomit? You know, and then Neji's like, Lee, what did that look like to you? And, you uh, know, Kabuto saw through the attack, so there must have been something else. Some trick they used to make him sick, blah, blah, blah. And then Gar is like, hmm, you know what I mean? Or whatever. So... That's when, like, Dozu was first introduced. Then this is when he broke the, the fucking tree that I was referring to, you guys. You know, with just sound alone. Okay. Oh, well, actually, no, that was to uh, to Sakura's technique. And then he does it to Lee's uh, uh, thing that he does. You know. And then, basically... Uh, duh, 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 duh. So then, like, right here, he's able, like, to fight against Lee. He's a sound. He's like, it's sound. Even if you block my fist, the sound waves will reach you. He's like, you know, he explains the, the nature of sound, the vibrations displaced in the air, which trembles against your eardrum. And then here, basically, um, like he, he even used a technique on Choji, where he explains like over 70% of the human body is composed of water, a great conductor of sound, so it's not difficult to transmit shock waves through a wall of flesh. As long as the, the he sees those vexing rotations, could target the approximate location of his eardrums, etc., whatever, blah, blah. So, like, even if, like, you're fully, like, as a ball as Choji, you're still not protected. He can still touch you, place the sound in your body, and fuck you up and whatnot. So, it's like, no matter what, like, this Sasuke has no way of really defending himself against, you know, Dozu and shit, you know? And this is him using the thing to enhance the sound. It makes, you know, like, uh, basically fucks up Lee and whatnot. And uh, he said, like, I can use my chakra to direct its power towards my chosen prey. Um, and not only that, but from uh, relying on the momentum of my, swing, of my arm swing and shit. So, like, <laughs> those is no joke, bro. You know, and he explains even further with the eardrum. And this is, like, your organs and all that. Well, you know, not organs. But you get what I'm saying. The, the, the biological um, structure of the human body. The human eardrum. To where, like, if exposed to sound levels in excess of 150, you know, um, of basically a sound level. Moreover, if the sound is powerful enough to upset the liquid within the, the circular candles of the deepest inner of the ear... It becomes impossible for you to maintain your balance, you know, um, to where you basically, you know, can't really move, whatever, blah, blah, and it fucks up your physical arts. So that would even fuck up Sasuke even more because that's the only really thing he can rely on is just Taijutsu and martial arts, you know? So, like, Dozu's just a really, really bad opponent for Handicap Sasuke. Like, he's really fucked. And even if it was Prime Sasuke, once again, we'll, we'll talk about that as well. But, you know, it, 
he's a hard opponent for Sasuke. You know, it's not simple. So, um, but do you have anything for that, Ken? Or no, that's uh, that's as enough as you can say for that. That's all I can say for it. All right. And so the next guy, th- these are just we don't even need to explain. Neji slams. He would just body him. <laughs> like, like, like. I don't think I have to explain it. Ken, you want to explain like a three second explanation why? Like that's that should just be a no brainer. But <laughs> you know, man fought. Nar, nine tails enhanced Naruto. Yeah. Well, oh, well that, that, uh, let's be fair. Let's be fair. They'll get the Sasuke tarts pissed and whatnot. Okay, that's technically fine. I want them to get them. I like so salty Sasuke. <laughs> so like, so like, what else? What else you got? What else? If you don't, then I'll say one simple fucking thing. That's it. It takes like fucking five seconds. Like this is blatantly like it's just. There's crazy. literally nothing. I eat. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he needed the he third just to beat him. Yeah, that's not say like um, if we see weighted lead, only prime like, Sasuke. Even Kakashi says he can't beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Kakashi, yeah, Kakashi said, yeah. I'll even bring that up really quick. Kakashi says uh, right here, like Conqueror is like everything he says. He's like, but that Neji guy, you think he hadn't even been harmed? That he still has hidden reserves of strength. We've got to start planning ahead. To prepare for the final rounds, and Gara's on his oh, yeah, fucking he, team. <laughs> Manny thought he was gonna be a home Gara. Yeah, like so you have that, but let but I'm gonna pull up the the Kakashi statement that Ken was referring to, which that's even further fucking evidence, you know, whatnot. Um, let me get it real quick. It's questionable if the Shidori can go through the rotation. What do you think Sasuke's fist is gonna do? Yeah. Da, da, da. Imagine he gets one shot and he just gets rotated. Right here. So in this scan right here, Kakashi, like, he has a sweat on his face, which we know what that means. That's an emphasis of hit Kakashi being worried about Sasuke. He's like, but I doubt against a fighter like this Neji, even our own Sasuke would prevail. So, like, his teacher even thinks Sasuke, so he would be even referring to Prime as well, would not be able to, fu- you know what I mean? He just can't fuck with him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, bro. They're like, what are we doing? You know, so that's just nothing enough said. And like Ken said before, you know, uh, three gates is what's required to beat Neji. So meaning bare minimum Neji scales to all the way to second gate. And we know everything about all that. We're not going to explain that. We've said it a million times in other previous videos, whatever you name it. S- S- Neji slams. Handicap, slam, prime, slam. It's not a fucking negotiable. It's not even debatable. Next thing will obviously be Garam. Also a slam. We don't even need to explain that. <laughs> like, it's just a slam. Don't you know Sasuke's like fifth gate Lee level? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sasuke's fifth gate Lee level. So they, therefore, you know, yeah, he's also uh, he can at least fight against Gar and beat him, but he would still lose. You know, whatever, right? You know, and blah blah. Sasuke blah. like winks too hard, and he like one shots everyone <laughs> in the exams. Like that. Exactly. What's it called? Uh, but yeah, so he gets slammed by Gara, and then Lee. We literally saw that fight. <laughs> we saw the fight. There is one interesting one that I think Sasuke does win in this, if you don't mind. What is that? Um, at least non blood left it. Um, Dosu's a partner, which made it to the exams. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I think Sasuke can beat him with non blood lusted. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Zak- uh, Zaku. The, the, the air. The, the reason? Yeah, the air cannon. Unlike Dosu, Saku is very ignorant. So the second he thinks he has Sasuke beaten yeah. with his like, sound jutsu, he gets in close. And then Sasuke gets off the barrage. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. And the next thing we'll talk about, which would be Zaku, because might as well. Now, this would be Zaku with only one arm. Because um, let's be fair. He like, has if, both if, arms. Uh, well, no, no. And the, the preliminaries. Well, yeah, he does have both arms. He does it. He does actually. He, yeah, he, can, he can still use both arms, technically. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. He can use. Um, yeah. So, he takes it off a sling. He was faking it. Yeah, yeah. So, basically. Uh, We'll, we'll talk about yeah just so that Zaku so the way I see it Zaku has one arm whatever you know he's, he can basically shoot like you know air cannons out of his fucking arm and shit um, so like we saw how Shino performed and whatnot, and he was able to kind of like deal with him whatever and fight you name it um, but the way I see it basically is like if Sasuke fights him like that's gonna be a tough battle because he's basically fighting a range battle and he can't use ninjutsu he can't use a shotting gun. He can't really, you know, use his chakra, you know, and whatnot. So, like, he's going to be having to try to dodge these air currents 
and maybe he gets lucky to dodge one. But then again, if he does like a second one, he's done. And then not only that, if Zaku does like that crazy ass air cannon thing he did against CM1 Sasuke, where it like blew up and like fucking tore through the whole forest and shit, it was like massively big too. If he does that, Sasuke's fucked. He's not dodging that either. You know what I mean? So, like, you're talking about sound, sound waves and shit with air pressure currents, you know? So, like, at the end of the day, like, I, I think Sasuke is just fucked. The only way I could see Sasuke taking, like, what Ken said is if he gets confident and cocky, which that is in character, and he's talking shit or whatever, and, like, you know, and then Sasuke gets the opportunity, lands the barrage on him, you know, and then, like, ends the fight that way. But then again, like, even if well, Zaku, even if he's in the air, the Zaku, Zaku can use it in the air mind. too, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing with Zaku is I think he, if he gets hit, he's going to be too surprised to think to do it. Mm. Because he, he has problems when he's caught off. Yeah. But the thing with Zaku is he never goes for those big moves. Mm. Like, when you look at, like, when he was fighting, like, Shino, like, he was playing around with him. Yeah. He thought he could. And I think that's the opportunity that... That's the only opportunity Sasuke needs is that one. Yeah. Now, but bloodlusted, he probably takes it because he can just do this really powerful, like, force destroying moves. But he's not doing that in there. Exactly. Um, what what I will say though, Zaku is like kind of trash though. Like, the man was like fighting in Sakura, and like she kept spamming substitution jutsu on him, and then eventually like she like outplays him, bites his arm, stabs him as well. And then he just starts, like, punching her in the head over and over. And, she, and he's like, get off. Like, i am be real. He got outplayed by Sakura out of all people. You know what I mean? Like, Zaku's ass. <laughs> like, he's not smart. He's not. He's so ass. So, like, i am be honest. I do think Sasuke could be able to pull it off and beat him because of just how, like, stupid he is. Um, but, like, it, it could go either way with handicap Sasuke. But I do think Sasuke could be able to pull it off. Um, if it's prime Sasuke, Sasuke slams him. I don't give a fuck. He does slam him. So he doesn't even use the charm card if he's prime, but yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know, we'll we'll talk about that eventually. But you know, but either way, that's just that. So, but um, other than that, the only other person we can uh, bring up would be uh, Shikamaru, Naruto, and that one chick. Um, Shikamaru would beat him. Basically, we he... actually have a few more people than that, but. Okay, my fault, my fault. Then we'll, we'll get those two. I'm over here tripping then. But uh, Shikamaru basically would would beat him. He would. He, Shikamaru is extremely intelligent. So for one, he's not going to underestimate Sasuke. He's going to know he's on Shia, blah, blah, know he's a real deal. Okay. He's going to realize that he's clearly fatigued and tired. And he's also going to realize something's going on with him to where, you know, and he's just going to be in character. He's going to use strategy. He's going to fight from a distance. You know what I mean? And I just, I don't see how Sasuke's going to beat that. He's fighting a distance fight. He's going to have to get away from the shadow the entire time. And Sasuke just can't be able to do that the whole fight. You know what I mean? He only has certain opportunities. Um, and, like, I don't know. Like, I really think, like, Shikamaru's shadow thing would just get him. You know what I mean? Like, Shikamaru would just pull it off like he normally does. Um, and even if, like, Sasuke is able to do, like, that body flicker technique to, like, do the Lion's Barrage. Like, let's say it's a bloodlust or whatever. I do actually think Shikamaru should still be able to react um, but that's if you grant the final tuning exam Shikamaru feats to where he's able to react to Tamari, you know, effortlessly. And while Tamari was able to react to Weighted Lee's attack. So if you give that to Shikamaru, he can definitely react and he's not getting hit. But if you don't give that to Shikamaru, then he does get hit in the air. And then it comes to who wins in the air. And then the day... Oh. You know, I don't think Shikamaru is winning that if he gets put in the air. So, I think he. Does. I'm not gonna lie to you. What? What's that? I think Shikamaru wins that even if he gets put in the air. Really? And the reason is, is we know Shikamaru gets a lot of crazy ninja tools on him. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He does have ninja tools. Yeah, bombs and yeah. <laughs> so Sasuke gets him in the air. He knows he's in the air. He cracks a light bulb. And bam, Sasuke can't get the combo off. Now thinking about it, yeah, Shikamaru does have tons of fucking ninja tools, man. He got like a utility belt like Batman. So not that I was over here thinking like he's fucked because he's not really that great at Taiji 2. That's kind of like his uh, weakness. But if that's the case, yeah, like he could probably, yeah, use some of his shit, you know, if he gets put into that situation. Because the problem with Shikamaru is he's able to think like a million steps ahead of like so many fucking situations, like theoretically. You know what I mean? So it's like, let's say... 
for all we know, he could think of like somehow being put in the air. You know what I mean? And what he would do in that, like it shook him over, bro. You know, so I'm gonna be real. I don't, I don't think uh, you know. Yeah, no. With that being the case, yeah, even Bloodlust did he would lose. You know, so I just like, I, what does you know, Sasuke do if they get in the air and Shikamaru pulls out like a fake paper wall and acts like it's real? Yeah, really, and it's also like fuck, you know. <laughs> like, so, um, but yeah, like it is what it is. So like that's basically what you have. But um, you know, like I said, it's either it's either you think it goes either way if he gets put in the air, or if it's in character, Sasuke's fucked. If uh. It, you know, or like I said, if you grant Shikamaru's intelligence and his feats and how he uses all his ninja tools, that he could somehow be able to counter him being in the air and to avoid, you know, gravity being used against him with Taijutsu. So, and there you go, whatever you have that. So, but on to the next would be the girl that fought Shikamaru. Um, I'm going to be real, like, she really doesn't have a lot. Like, all we really she see with her. Weaker than the other guy who is on Goss's team. So, yeah. So, like, I think Sasuke just slams her. That's just me. Yeah. Um. I like, like she has no feats. Yeah. She just like she's just trash. So Sasuke just slams her. Even handicap as crazy as that sounds, um, which is really sad, but it is what it I'll is. Unless it takes Sakura with giving her problems. Exactly. So, um. So you have that. Then you move on to uh, Tamari, and Tamari she slams him. <laughs> Tamari slams him. <laughs> Considering what we saw her do to Tintin, she might literally slam him. Literally, like she'll do the same shit and put his body on the fan, and instead of Lee getting butt hurt, it would be Naruto getting blood butt hurt. You know, and he would jump off the stand and be like, "Fuck you, bitch." <laughs> you know, so that's not even discussed about. Like, come on, guys, it's it's not even rocket science range. You know what I mean? Chakra control. She's just as, you know, she's up there with Conqueror and Gara in certain ways and relativity, whatnot. Mainly with, with Conqueror equal to him, but with Gara, she's relative in a sense. Um, could be a bit. Speaking of which, Conqueror, um, he also sounds. Yeah. Um, so, like, it's just Tamari just beats his fucking ass. You know what I mean? And then not only that, even with uh, her first interaction with uh, fucking, you know, Sasuke, like, she doesn't, like, feels scared she doesn't feel intimidated if anything she actually just says "Ooh, like he's really attractive he's actually pretty cute you know what i mean so and that's all she does but, but her most impressive feat in the preliminaries once again this is very impressive but she blocks fatigued way to lee's attack and that's really impressive because like she's like just as i thought what's that what's that lee fatigue um Theoretically, like I'm not gonna say he's like crazy, crazy fatigue. I would say nowhere near like Sasuke, because his team kind of aced it, you know, with no with no issues. But he did have a fight, you know, with like the sound people. But you know, I'm not saying like he's extremely fatigued, but I'm just saying like fatigue, maybe like you know, just a little bit, you know. But it, either way, it's weighted Lee. You know, I'm pretty sure we, you know, that 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 would, everybody would agree with. It's weighted Lee, you know, regardless whether you think it's a little bit fatigued or not fatigued at all. Um, Bottom line is, he doesn't attack at her, and there's no reason for him to hold back or anything. And, he, like, she blatantly disrespected his teammate, uh, Ten Ten. So, like, he goes at full speed, she blocks him, and she's like, you're not so fast after all. And once again, this particular lead bullied Sasuke. <laughs> so well, this lead dodges hits from... That, that, that too, yeah. Yeah, he does dodge things from guard, everything, you name it. So, like, Tamari's just... Come on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, she's, well, like this Lee so fast, he's able to go from one side of the battlefield to the other before Gauri. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it's just, it's, it's not even, like, to even talk about. So, but overall, they got to be that. Then we're going to, um, I'm going to bring up uh, fucking, uh, next would be Conqueror. Now, what's it called? If handicap, he gets slammed as well. Um, there's just nothing he can do. He's going to get outplayed by the puppet. Basically, what happened to that one dude that Conqueror fought, it's going to be the same exact thing that happened. Um, and that'll basically be the, the, the story of that. And Con there's just plenty of implications of like Conqueror being a similar level to Tamari on a similar ballpark, whatever the relative, whatever you name it, blah, blah. They just have their own unique fighting sets. Now, I do think t eventually down the road, Tamari does get the, the, the edge against Conqueror. Um, but you know, that's more in the retrieval arc and we're not going to count that tomorrow and all that and whatnot. So, um, but either way, you know what I mean? That's basically what you have. So it is what it is. Um, but one thing I will say with, uh, this Conqueror is like, he was basically about to 
like he, he felt confident enough to even fight prime Sasuke. Like Sasuke basically like uh Conqueror's bullying Naruto in like Konohamaru, right? So Sasuke comes out of nowhere, throws a rock at his hand or whatever. Um, you know, and then basically like fucking Conqueror gets pissed, you know, and then he's like, Come down, little squirrel, whatever, you think you're pretty smart, don't you? Tell me you're not planning to use and Tamari's like, Tell me you're not planning to use the crow and she's getting worried. And then and then Gara's like Conqueror don't. You know what I mean? And then that's Gara. And then Sasuke's like, he snuck up beside me and I didn't even have a clue. His stealth skills rival Kakashi. And that's insane. Kakashi out of all fucking people. Gara With stealth, at least. So, <laughs> like, at the end of the day, like, Conqueror was ready to throw hands with a prime to Tomo Sasuke. And, and we'll, we'll talk about that eventually. But Handicap, like, come on. Like, he's not beating him. It's just not happening. So, it is what it is. Anyways, so the next thing will be uh, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, Ken, but Gara. We haven't I haven't said him yet, right? Gara to slams. Like, come on, that's not even to talk about. That's not a discussion. Like, <laughs> basically, Gara would stand there. Sasuke would run up, try to fight him, beat him up, whatever, and he can't do anything. And Gara just like, you're you're a piece of shit. They were so scared you. of Sasuke <laughs> fighting Gara that they went and taught him the Shidori. Literally, literally, enough said. So yeah, Gara slams. There you go. Um, ten ten. Now this is funny. Ten ten wins. Ten ten wins. Yes, this is funny as fuck. And I said this on my Discord one day, and and I'm, oh my god, I made some people mad. But I I, I was a bait basically because I, I made it sneaky. But I said ten ten beats shooting exam Sasuke, and I even said that to Gil oh, you, Gil and Weed. Yeah, and. and and I said that, and then everybody was like, oh, what the fuck? But they weren't understanding that I was referring to prelim- preliminary handicap Sasuke. And yes, that would absolutely be the case. And hear me out. The reason why, okay. Well, to be we- fair, I agree with you. So, yeah. go on. Uh, and the reason why is, for one, she has the stats for it. So her Taijutsu is 3.5, Genjutsu 1.5, Ninjutsu 2.5, Intelligence 2.5, Strength 1, Speed 3.5. So she has the stats. That's the first thing. And base. Okay, well, with Sasuke, okay, I'm just going to kind of show this. And mind you, we're over here talking with, about handicap Sasuke out of all fucking people. So this is like hit where his stats are extremely questionable. We have no idea. But prime Sasuke, bare minimum, his stats is like 3.5 Ninjutsu, 2.5 Taijutsu, meaning her Taijutsu is better. <laughs> like Genjutsu 1.5, Intelligence 2.5. Uh, same intelligence as her. That's interesting. Um, strength. I think. Go ahead. Even- Prime Sasuke struggles with ten ten. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we get into that later on why I think that. Um, and strength three, speed is the same as ten ten. So that's what I'm saying. Like, and this would have to be correlating to prime base Sasuke. You know what I mean? So like, ten ten has the stats to fuck with him. We're talking about handicap Sasuke, who's basically fucked in unit. We never we explain. Okay, so with that being the case, the reason why he's fucked by ten ten is. They they they're like like their squad Neji and Lee and Ten Ten were like no joke to where like guy really wanted them to be like top tier to where basically he hold them back to not even take the exams you name it etc and like and just basically waited whatever and then had him go forward and then like recruited them to be in the net in the shooting exams right away because of just how gifted and talented they all were and. They're just really, really a special group. They're very, very strong, talented special group in comparison. Like, their group, like, if they were in the Atlanta Waves, they would shit on that Team 7. You know what I mean? Like, they were just way ahead. The best ahead. way to look at it, yeah. um, if, if you don't mind me interrupting you again, oh, yeah, um, the best way to look at it, it's imagine if you were in school. Yeah. You have all your different, like, grades and all that. Um, Mike Guy's team is the advanced class. Literally. They were they were way ahead. They were they were they were they had a head start, and that's literally what was shown and presented in the manga and the anime. So, and yeah, mind you, like as crazy as that sounds, like you know, like because we we over here like we get you know things of like Sasuke where he fights against Kakashi while he's like, holding back, you know, and he's like doing all these traps and shit and kunai's and whatnot, and and Kakashi's like a trap or whatever, you know, and then uh fucking and it, like and it's just it's impressive, but like. You know, then uh, eventually, you know, Kakashi no dips him when he actually does try, and he immediately like so obviously Kakashi hold him back. But against a holding back Kakashi, he was able to give him a run for his money and be relative, and to where even Kakashi admits like, wow, like 
I, I can't even read my book with this fucking guy. Like, what an asshole. You know what I mean? So, like, we know Sasuke is impressive in those senses and means. And even and he, Sasuke also has that one feat where, like, Kakashi's like, he did fireball technique? He shouldn't even have enough Chaka to do that. So, don't get me wrong. Sasuke is no joke as well. But Ten Ten, Lee, and Neji, they were way more ahead. They were also really strong, but that was because of them training with Guy, being way ahead of the game, working hard. And since they already had that head start, that's all it is. So, like like I said, as crazy as it may sound, they would have been washing up Land of Waves Team 7. And even as to when it gets to that whole point, if they fought in the Forest of Death, it was their squad against Team 7 as well, they would have got washed up as well, you know? I think so. their team at that point in time would probably beat Haku. I'm not going to lie. Like, they beat Haku and Zabasa with less difficulty than they did. Yeah. You know, so, like, and that's basically what you're working on. you got to keep in mind, and again, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Because um, actually, they're actually a fake brother, so. Um, Neji is the master of the Byakugan. Yeah. Lee was learning and mastering the gate. And then, then as a weapon master, who has stayed in, up to the point where he got, she got to the exam, she never missed. Which means he went through the entire forest of death without missing a single target. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And you know the I mean? only reason she failed there is because the person just happened to have a good counter to her. Exactly. So overall, like, that's basically what you're working with. Um, it is what it is. But, you know, that's that's just, that's just some of it. You know, not now, basically the way I see the fight would go, if Sasuke's having a hard time with that one dude that absorbs Shocker by touching you, with him just doing a basic-ass shuriken attack, and then his body fucks up because he had to use Chakra in order to dodge it, you know? And then, like, he, like, you know, is vulnerable. The guy goes to try to land an attack. He dodges it last minute. He's on the, he's forced on the ground, you know, does a grab and whatever. Like, this is Tenten, who's a weapon specialist that uses paper bombs, all kinds of shurikens, all kinds of weapons, you name it, blah, blah. Like, she is definitely landing her shit on Sasuke. Sasuke is not dodging that shit. He, had, he can't use ninjutsu. He can't use it. Like, there's nothing he can do. He doesn't have wind to deflect and immediately counter it completely. There's nothing he can fucking do. You know what I mean? Like, he's just fucked. So as crazy as it sounds, 10-10 beats Sasuke. So, um, and it is what it is. They, they handicapped him. But uh, the next one uh, we'll get into would be Naruto. Um, and if I missed anything else, then let me know, Ken. But I think Naruto would be the last. Um... So for Naruto, basically, the, I'm gonna be real with you. Naruto slams as well. Like it's just handicap Sasuke once again. He can't do anything. He can't use anything. Whatever, you know. Like you could argue maybe Sasuke gets a mental amp in a way to try to you know because like with him rivalry shit whatever. But you can argue the same for Naruto. And at the end of the day, like Naruto can do all his clones, while Sasuke can't do anything. He's basically a traditional fighting human being. You know what I mean? Like he's fucked. You know, so, like, it, that's just not a fair fight. You know what I mean? Um, and even if he lands the Lion's Mirage on Naruto, Naruto can still do Shadow Clones or still react or whatever, blah, blah, you know, you name it. Like, I just don't think he's beating that Naruto. Like, there's just no way. Like, that Naruto is keeping up at least to a, a certain degree against full power Kiba. Sasuke would not be able to do the same thing or perform the same way, you know? So, um, ironically, this Naruto's nerf is less than the one that Sasuke had. Exactly. Because although he has the five prong seal, the nine tails could technically still help him with a little bit of chakra. Yeah. And even then, Naruto could still also use his jutsu, unlike Sasuke. Exactly. And then not only that, like while they're in the force of death, and they both have like their their fucking nerfs and shit, and it's like blatantly shown and whatnot. And just to show that what we're talking about about Naruto being nerfed, like Jiraiya says it's here. He's like, this is the seals, whatever, blah blah. So any of the fuck chakra, you know, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Like, he doesn't care. He's like, however, since it's been blocked by a five-prong seal by Orochimaru, an odd number seal placed on top of an even number seal, this kid's chakra and the fox's chakra are mixing together in an unstable way. No wonder he can't manipulate his chakra that well. Someone else must have done this, the formless uh, course, whatever, blah, blah. He's like Orochimaru. So, like, Naruto is nerfed. He's fucked. He, that's why he's having a really hard time using chalk or whatever. It gets even... Like, he was already a, a, a bad enough with it, but this makes it even harder and worse. You know what I mean? But not, he wasn't, like, really, really bad, but he's was not the best, obviously. Um, and then, you know, obviously when Jiraiya, like, fixes it, Naruto's immediately able to walk on water instantaneously. You know? So, but, 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 when, he, but when it was fucked, he couldn't even walk on water. 
You know I mean, that's how fucked it was so much harder for him to use his chakra and shit. Like, he was, so he is nerfed. He does have problems, you name it, but it's not to a significant degree like Sasuke, okay? And then literally Kavito here, he's like, his chakra is immense. Mind you, this is nerf Naruto, okay? He's like creating all of those doppelgangers and then carefully transforming just three clones into counterfeits of his comrades, okay? Yet he still has the stamina to be on his feet and moving and even thought it's the morning and even thought it's the morning of the fifth day. He's still a boy. If he really gains mastery over that chakra, he could become a monster. So, no matter what, like, come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, like, Sasuke, Handicap, he's not beating that Naruto. Like, it's just not happening. So, it is what it is. That's basically what you have. Um, do you have anything else for that for Naruto or no, Ken? No, I don't have anything. I think everything's been covered there. All right. All Naruto's... Right one of the most stubborn people Sasuke's ever met. Exactly. If he hits him with the line barrage, he's going to throw him down. If the thing were a thing wasn't... And that, that's the thing, too. Like, in character for Naruto, even if, like, he successfully did it and pulled the same thing, Naruto's stubborn fuck, and he will still get back up. <laughs> Dude know? took his chakra points being shut down and still stood. L l exactly. Like, to, to he defied reality, basically. Like, that was insane. Like, he pulled a lead. Lee was unconscious and still got up after his whole half of his body was completely broken and destroyed by the gates and crushed his bones and everything. And that motherfucker stood up. Naruto did a similar thing to where he should have been paralyzed. Like, it was stated verbatim, there's no way he can be able to stand now. Like, biologically and everything. And he still got up. <laughs> like, like, so... It, come on, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. So, Naruto just wins. He beats him. It is what it is. Um, the only other thing I left out was the dude that Conqueror fought, but he's another fodder piece of shit. The There's only... actually one more person. Okay. Um, the, for, that, oh, for, that, for that stretchy dude, like, I'm going to be honest, like, he's interesting because he can, like, be elastic and, like, stretch and shit and, like, and then, like, try to choke you or break your neck or whatever. I'm gonna be honest, if he was able to immediately, like, grab, you know, Conqueror's puppet and whatnot and kind of, you know, do that, even though he got outplayed and fooled and then Conqueror like, beat him instantaneously. Um, but, like, I do think he would do the same thing to Sasuke. And what, what does Sasuke do? What does he do? <laughs> he's so dead. Like, he's done. Because that, that guy is quick. He is quick. You know what I mean? Like, and when I said he's fodder, like, like, in comparison to everybody, like, in their full prime power or whatever, he's trash. But, like, Handicap Sasuke, he's fucked by him. You know what I mean? Like, I think Handicap Sasuke could win. Because I don't think it's too far out of Sasuke's place that to pretend to be out. And then just line barrage. Imagine, yeah. So, like, it, it's, Unless you it's think either... You grab him in minute. Yeah, it's either... Sasuke could still react at his full, like, speed, you know, like, uh, speed assault. And he doesn't get grabbed by his, like, stretchy-ass shit and, like, and threaten to, like, where he'll break his neck or put him to sleep. You know, and like he does a lion barrage, and if he does a lion barrage, I do think the same thing would happen to the other guy. He would just fold him. But it's either the lion barrage wins, or he does the same thing he did to Conqueror, and then he, he would Sasuke would just have to give up, or he dies. You know, it's that simple. Um, but there's that. Uh, who, what? Who else? What you were saying, Ken? Kabuto. Kabuto. Okay, he technically gave up, but let's say we include Kabuto. If it's the the bullshit Kabuto holding back, whatever. I think he still slams handicap uh, Sasuke. If it's full power Kabuto, that's no contest. That's Kakashi level. He gets slammed. So, um, are we going in character for this? Uh, in character, which would be the half ass Kabuto of him, kind of like acting like he's getting level one of blah, blah blah. If we go in character, he loses because I could see him like pushing Sasuke just to test him out for Roach tomorrow. Yes, but then like they want Sasuke to advance, so that he would push him. Yeah. And then throw the match in a way that makes it look like he lost. Exactly. And that's probably what would happen. And so basically Sasuke would just win by a concession, but he would at least push him or try to get him to do the curse mark or whatever. Um, so it would either be that or like, you know, Sasuke performs decently because if Dozu was able to at least land something on that holding back Habito and even like the other, like uh, getting from the other, the rain village were able to like press him, you know, and land on a holding back Habito. Like I don't see why Sasuke couldn't do the same. But, you know, that's basically, yeah, that's generally how it would go, you know, so um, but that's basically what you have for that. So but anyways, that'll be all the participants. That was a while just for Handicap Sasuke, but now we're going to go through Prime Sasuke. 
Uh, so basically, Prime Sasuke is, uh, he's really interesting and he's, he's strong. Like, that's the first thing I'm going to put out there right now. I'm not going to sit here and be like, he's weak or fucking, you know, some soccer or Eno type shit or, you know, some bullshit like that. He definitely is strong. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you can agree with that, Ken. Um, like, like yeah. I said, like when he's first established with Kakashi, you know, it's already impressive showings. Um, when he, you know, um, what's it called? He touches the bells when no one else had ever been able to. Exactly. He touches the fucking bells. He for, he Kakashi even says he can't read. He says there's no way his chakras should be that large to even do fireball. Um, you know, uh and that's a weaker sauce. Yeah, he was able to beat Haku in speed, whereas uh Zabaza's like, ah, oh, he can keep up with Haku's speed, um, and whatnot, and then he even beats all of Zabaza's water doppelgangers, you know what I mean, and whatnot, which is impressive, even though it is one tenth of Zabaza's strength. It's still impressive that he's able to speed blitz them all and just one shot them. So he could do that, you know. Um, and then what's it called? And then right here, uh, he like literally like beats Haku. You know, he uh, she's like you're not. Uh, he's like you're not that fast, whatever. And he's like you're gonna have to defend my attacks and whatnot. And he's over here like fighting against her, you know, whatnot. And then he eventually lands a kick. Uh, she says like he like she's like hey he's fast. Like she stutters basically. And then Zabuza's like, actually spook. He's sweating on his forehead. And he's like, Haku's actually losing a battle of speed. You know what I mean? And, and Sasuke's like, you're fast, but I'm faster. So what I will say with this, and I'm curious what Ken will say as well. This is either a retcon and bullshit, or Haku's like base speed is just trash and she's only a threat in Ice Mirrors. It's one of the two. And the reason why I'm saying that is when Haku appears in the war as an Edo, She's throwing hands with adult versions or teenager versions of these characters. That would be way, way stronger than this Sasuke. Yet she's losing to base Sasuke. So, I don't know how you feel about that, Ken. But it's like, if we analyze the Edo stuff and what I'm about, then it was, it was either Haku was holding back extremely, even at that point, And Zabuza was just dumb. Or Haku and just base is just trash. I think it's the first one. I think Haku was... I don't think Sabas was dumb. Yeah. But I think Haku was holding back and just Sabas. I just didn't want to believe it. Got you, got you. Okay. So, yeah. So, like I said, you have that stuff, but I don't... But once again, it is what it is. It's not really relevant for all this, guys. But, I, once again, I'm just bringing this up, you know, so you guys don't think I'm trying to shit on Sasuke or anything like that. Um, but another thing as well... Um, what's it called? He's able to, like, throw a fucking rock at, you know, Conqueror's hand and stop him or whatever. But, you know, you know he does that. He also, like, attacks a tuning. Um, they go to, like, strike at each other, and they're clearly going, like, at similar speed with a relative or whatever, and Lee just no-diffs both their attacks. He no-diffs the tuning and Sasuke's attack, and he's like, get that shit out of here. Um, you know, and then Sasuke is really smart as well. Like, he always says, you know, he always is able to analyze people's strengths and power levels. Like, he's able to do that with Orochimaru, and that's why he freaked out. He was able to do that with Gara. He was able to do that with Guy, and he's like, wow, Guy's faster than Kakashi. That's insane, you know, and stronger. Um, so, like, you have all this stuff, you know. So, like I said, Sasuke's no joke. He's very, very smart. Um, but basically where he starts to cap at is prime Sasuke with Tutomo is when he fought against Lee. We all know how that fight went. Okay, he gets beat up so bad where he's trembling, and he couldn't even defend himself, you know. So, like, <laughs> you have that. Um... And then basically, what's do is after the whole lead beatdown, which it's kind of kind of embarrassing, but you know at least he eventually he kind of like uh, you know uh, what's the word uh, he makes up for it. that's what it is. Uh, eventually he fights against Orochimaru. Now throughout the whole time, like he just he was just scared, bro. Like he did not want to fuck with him. Like the only thing that he does that's impressive is like Orochimaru does like his paralysis ability or whatever, and like. You know, and he's able to still move with willpower and stabs himself, and then he's able to like inflict pain to cancel it, and he moves accordingly. Um, but even with doing that, okay, Sasuke basically, after doing that, you know, like he's still like just yeah, we can't fuck with Orochimaru, like we're out, completely outclassed, whatever, you name it. And after like Naruto stepping it up and basically backpacking in a sense, and goes QB and even scares Naruto and even makes like Orochimaru a little bit, you know, concerned, like. Then, like, you know, Sakura, like, roasts him and says, like, you're a fucking coward, basically. He thinks of his brother, okay, and he basically, like, you know, says, no, 
because he thinks of like when his brother made the quote like always run away survive you know blah blah yada yada he says no he gets a mental amp in a sense and you know basically what happens is he uh this is probably the best showings we've seen of Sasuke um but it's really weird and interesting because when we when we technically when we first see Tumo, uh, Tutomo Sasuke in the force of death he's struggling against like a, a getting from the rain village a guy that's not really like a hand-to-hand combat. He's more of like a, to use ju- like genjutsu and fight from a distance and whatnot. But he was fighting against that dude, and they were basically going blow for blow. Um, and then Sasuke eventually gets up for him and injures him, and then he retreats, you know. But you go from that Sasuke to then a Sasuke that's able to like fight against an extremely holding back Orochimaru, and he says like to, like to Orochimaru that he can see him with the shotting gun, um, you know, and whatnot. Now, I'm going to be honest. A lot of people try to rat and say, oh, if Sasuke can see Orochimaru, that means he can see anybody. And that's not true at all. Like, well... Oh, yeah, no, up. like, Sasuke in the exams just beats Jiraiya. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah like, like, come on. Like, so, like, like, like either way, even, it, like, even if we grant the, like, the same part, like, like, I'm going to be honest. If Orochimaru was moving at full speed, I don't think he would even be able to see him. But let's say we take that and say, like, okay, he can see Orochimaru at holding back speed or whatever. Okay, if Lee would wait, can move at full speed to where Sasuke could see him, but he couldn't, you know, react fast enough and was just getting bullied. You really think Orochimaru can't do that or replicate the same shit Lee did? That's that's crazy. You know, so, you know, so a lot of people try to bullshit with this. Like, he's not fighting, you know, Orochimaru or now he, like gets an upscale or now he's like crazy strong with it like that's just blatantly bullshit but you know it is like i said it's oppressive to a degree but not to the extent that people make it out to be um so i just want to put that out there and basically retro is like not bad the way he t- anticipates my every move the accuracy of his targeting he sees me whatever so he's acknowledging that like sasuke's like you know seeing him or whatever blah blah you know and once again, Orochimaru is just feeling him out. Like, he's just testing his abilities. He's testing his words because Orochimaru was curious to see of whether or not he should give him a curse mark, basically. You know? He knows that he's Itachi's brother. So he's just, you know, testing the waters, whatever, feeling him out. You know? And he's just acknowledging what Sasuke is doing to him. And then eventually, Sasuke is able to create, like, you know, the windmill. And he's able to, you know, use that on fucking Orochimaru. And basically, you know, uh, pin him to a tree. And he's like, he's, uh, Richmond was like, he fall asleep, perceived my escape route, and struck along my path. I didn't see myself. You know, he's like, and then he uses the fire dragon technique, and, you know, uses it on Rochimaru. Rochimaru gets burned, whatever. And he's like, that that one so young should uh, have such mastery of the shotting an eye. Truly a worthy successor to the honor name of Chia clan. In fact, I believe I want you after all. And then he gives him the curse mark right after. So, it's impressive, but at the same time, it's not like extremely impressive or to the degrees people make that out to be but what do you think of his interaction with Orochimaru and his feats and fight what he does with Orochimaru I don't think it helps him at all exactly me either <laughs> so you know at the end of the day like I don't I feel like it'd be no different compared to what Lee could be able to do if anything Lee would probably impress Orochimaru even more I feel like Neji would also also impress Orochimaru even more things like that etc so well even like if we look at the feats of a fun time at least Comparatively, Naruto does better than Sasuke. And that too. Yeah, Naruto does do better. So, Orochimaru had to resort to using a ceiling jutsu. <laughs> He's like, Get, fuck that shit. I'm not dealing with this. You know, like. He amps. Like, he technically gives Sasuke an amp, but he's so terrified of what Naruto could become that he, like, actively tries to, like, hinder his power. Yeah. And, and, and not only that, guys, to further support the notion that obviously we all should be aware, but Orochimaru is fully holding back, you name it, blah, blah. He immediately gets serious. He instantly paralyzes Sasuke and, and, and Sakura again. They can't do anything. He gives him a curse mark, and you know what happens from there. So um, that's basically what you have. And then the next thing, you know, that, that, that's basically, technically, that's all as much as you have with Prime, uh, you know, Tutomo Sasuke. That's all we see with him. Everything else would be with him having, you know, Shidori, getting more stronger with training, faster as well, et cetera, et cetera. So... That's basically what you have with Sasuke. So with all that information provided, okay, we're going to go by through the list. So for Sakura and Ino, he slams. I'm going to be like, I'm pretty sure you would agree, Ken. If it's full power Sasuke with a shotting gun, you know, ninjutsu, you name it. Like, what the fuck do they do? (laughs) They get slammed. And character, even worse. Bloodlusted, even worse. 
Um, ugh, fuck my body. And then with Gara, Gara still slams him. It, nothing changes. <laughs> like, once again, you guys gotta remember, if Weighted Lee couldn't do anything to Gara, it would be the same thing. Sasuke would be trying to fight him. He'd be throwing some ninjutsu, fire, whatever. Gara would just be using his sand, blocking it, whatever. Like, if we're really gonna sit here and say Sasuke has strong enough fire style to hurt Gara, that that's crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna say this one last time yeah. for it. They were so scared of Sasuke fighting Gara, they taught him the Shidori. Literally. So it's just it's as simple as that. So even with all the stuff, even with everything he does to Richmar, even if Sasuke even gets all those wires on Gar and pins him to a wall, which he can't do that by the way, because he needs like a tree or something like to do that. Um, like, he just wrap up Gara like he did to Naruto in the final finale, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he could wrap up Gara, but he's not going to be able to pin him to anything, you know, whatnot. Like, m m maybe he could if, like, if he's able to get, like, the shuriken piercing up through the wall or the ground, then maybe he could pin him still. But, once again, even if he pins him, you, like, there's no way you believe his fire dragon <laughs> is going to fuck up Gara's sand. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Even if it, even if it does, let's say, let's say it gets through Gara's sand. Man took the fifth gate hit. Oh, yeah, he's taken multiple, like, millions of fifth gate attacks. I mean, like, come on, bro. Like, he just it, heals through that and just sand coffins. Uh, you know, like, so, it, 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 and that's what I'm saying. Like, he used his sand to tank the Lotus AP in the fifth gate. And that is impressive, okay? And the reason why it is impressive is because Gara was even scared of the first Lotus technique. Uh, from first gate alone, he had to use a substitution. Because if he got hit by that, because he wasn't able to use the sand to cushion the blow that time, he would have just landed straight on his fucking head, okay? He would either got killed or knocked out, which is why he substituted when Lee paused in a moment of pain, you know? So, like, at the end of the day, that sand is no joke. If he's able to use the sand to protect himself, which he always does... I, there's no way the fire is doing that. It's not beating him. That's just crazy. You know, so Gara, Gara slams either way. Neji obviously still slams. Lee, we've seen the fight. He slams. Even if it was like the mentally amped Sasuke where he's using like his fucking, you know, like all that wires and shit, you know, or being smart or, you know, blah, blah. Like Lee, basically, what the way I see how it would go, Lee would get pressured in a way but basically, he would just go to first gate, you know, or he would just take off his weights and then just slam him. <laughs> you know? Like, like so I'll, I'll, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I'll give that. Maybe Lee can get pressured if he's performing the same way he did against Orochimaru. But all Lee has to do is first gate with weights or just take off the weights and he slams. I'm pretty sure you agree with that as well, Ken. After, I mean, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, so, if it's, like, if it's a Sasuke in the beginning of the Forest of Death, Lee just slams him, which is wait still. Once again, we've seen the fight. If it's the Sasuke that gets mentally amped, Lee just goes first gate or takes off his weights and slams. Simple. That's it. So, we want the one in the preliminary race. Um, I don't think even a mentally amped Sasuke takes on Lee with the Damn. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You're about to piss off the Sasuke fans, bro. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's take it this. They actively train on, like, boasting, like, Sasuke speed just so he can handle the Shidori. Yeah. So he doesn't even get, like, to, like, weightless leave when within training. Yeah. Like, he's, like, Lee at that point is so fast that even with a shark gun, he can't even react. <laughs> Exactly. So there you go. And then, like more than likely, that was like a holding back lead because there's no way he's going to pull out at that point in time. So exactly. Realistically, he just wanted to see what Sasuke was capable of, and he was like, "Oh, that's pathetic! Like, you can't even beat Ned like that." Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. You know what I mean, like, it is what it is. But um, yeah, so Lee would slam. Uh, you know, we already said Neji would slam as well. I'm pretty sure I did. It's just the same thing. We already know how all that goes. Um, oh, fuck me, Ken. I totally forgot. Hinata. <laughs> yeah. Hinata slams. Yeah, Hinata slams a uh, handicap Sasuke and, and, as crazy as this sounds, to Tomo Sasuke as well, Prime. She would. And she's over here going blow for blow with Nitch because she got mentally amped. That's why. And, and there's, in the, in the novels, um, because it's not in the manga or anime, but in the novels, there's like a description of explaining Hinata's feelings and that she was fighting equally on par against that Neji. 
because of how mentally amped she was. So if she's replicating those feats, okay, against Neji and landed one hit on him, but well, it was a scratch though, but she still landed one hit, okay? Like, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> something else to keep in mind, right before she actually gets mentally amped, she was actually mentally nerfed. Because she didn't want to fight Neji. Yeah, true, yeah. She was very, like, yeah, she was, like, fucking having a panic attack. She was freaking out. So, let me pull up here. Uh, so, basically, yeah, Hinata would slam uh, Prime Sasuke and, obviously, Handicap. Like, come on, that's not even a question. But even Prime, as, as crazy as that may sound, guys, like, like, at the end of the day, like, if we remove the mental amp, if we remove that, then maybe Sasuke wins. I feel like that's fair, right? No, and, even with the, even no? without the mental app, because you got to keep in mind, Hinata had her, like, organs turned off and was still, like, going blow to blow with Gara. Oh, with, uh, with Neji, you mean, right? Without her, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, yeah. Did she, I say Gara? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, and Neji has no reason to hold back either. Like, he fucking, he hated her. Like, he had, like, nothing but bloodlust, and he, he was going to kill her, actually. And they took all the joning to stop his one attack, you know? Um, so, like, yeah, you got a point there. Damn. <laughs> I totally forgot she was doing that without her Bracket Gun. <laughs> what the fuck? So, like, so I get, yeah. So, if you remove the Mental Amp, or if you even have the Mental Amp, even she would beat Sasuke with her Bracket Gun. Like, the only way I can see Sasuke, like, somehow pulling that off but i just don't realistically see that because she would just scale and speed basically and win um which i'm gonna be like i don't i can't show it right now because i for some reason i don't have hinata um on uh, on here and i didn't put her stuff i could have sworn i did but her stats i already know her stats would be higher than sasuke um speed and taijutsu too. and then most importantly the bracket gun has just stated that it's better than the shotting gun and perception and awareness and everything so like she just has so much of an advantage close combat's just really going to be a no-go like, you know, the only way, unless you really believe she doesn't just straight up beat him up, you know, in Taijutsu and just, or speed blitz him or whatever, um, and you think he can be able to hang and, like, maybe dodge or react or whatever, he would have to use his wires, you know, and distance attacks and fire style, and then she gets fucked. You know what I mean? But, well, like, you know. The way I see it, she's not falling for the same trap that Orochimaru would land her for. Yeah. She, she see yeah. it. With the oh yeah, that that is true. Yeah, yeah, she would see it. Yeah, you're right. He's not landing the fire cell because she she doesn't dark. have blind spots and and he and she can't yeah. and uh, and Sasuke's not aware of the fucking the only blind spot. You know what I mean? From the, with a user like you know he doesn't know and he wouldn't even be able to execute that either. You know that yeah. takes like insane fucking mathematical precision too. So like um, even like it took like Kitty Maru was just like a hundred ten percent. To do it. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, yeah, that's just not happening. So, like, now nah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. So, no matter what, like, it's just so fire style's not hitting. Yep. Yeah. If he goes in for hand to hand combat, it's literally so e even if he one does scratch with the Biakugan, and that's that's it. Yeah, even one scratch, you know, it's stated. So, like, even you know, like, even even if he does what, which I know he would do this. And let's say we give him the benefit of that, and he doesn't get speed blitz, right? Like, let's say it's his equal stats or some shit, which. That's not what it's supposed to be. But let's say to appeal for the Sasuke fans so they don't get so mad, which I know they will, okay? Even if he uses the correct strategy to fight distance Dude, you against said, her. You said Eno loses. We've already said Eno loses beat Sasuke. Like, they're mad no matter what. Yeah. Um. So even if, like, you know, Sasuke, like, does the correct strategy, like, guess who would get outlasted? Sasuke. He, he would get beaten in that game because he's going to be using so much chakra and fire style on the shurikens and the you know the light the fucking threads and you name it blah, blah blah like he's just gonna be spamming that and all she's gonna be doing is just dodging that's way less taxing than what he's doing and outputting you know what i mean so he would get gassed out first in comparison and then she would run up and beat him up you know so like i said it sounds insane but hinata would beat him so it is what it hinata, is. Man. he is fucking crazy <laughs> yeah you know so, but anyways, uh, I can't wait for that hate. But we'll move on to Naruto now. So, Naruto, this is interesting. I'm going to be honest. But now, Naruto, like... This particular Naruto loses. Yeah, I do think this Naruto loses. Like, he could be able to fight him, but, like, Sasuke is just going to see him at all times. You know, and like I said, if he's doing the same shit he did against Orochimaru against that Naruto, Naruto's fucked. I just, there's no way, bro. You know what I mean? Like... He's not. He's not dealing with him. So I do think Sasuke beats him, and that's perfectly fine. 
Um, Kiba, what's it called? That's really interesting. Um, it, it can go either way, basically. It I just, think Kiba wins. No um, what's it called? But like. It's really interesting. I mean, like, it's really, really, really interesting. Um, with his shotting gun, I do think he would be able to see, like, because this is what I think it is. I do think Kiba would be faster than him, but Sasuke would still be able to react, you know, and by, by seeing it and whatnot. But it's like, that's if you believe in that. Because it's either, it's either that's the case and then Sasuke wins if he can react and, you know, fight accordingly. Or Kiba is just way faster to where Sasuke can keep up in a way but, like, it's going to kind of be similar to the whole Naruto situation. You know what I mean? And then, basically, like, Sa let's be real. Sasuke's not fucking farting for a W. So then he would lose. You know? So, uh, like, that, that's a, it's an interesting fight, to be honest with you. Um, the only thing I can do um, is look at Kiba's stats real quick. And so, like... Do you think, while you're looking at that, do yeah. you think Kiba had access to that giant dog during this part of the series? Uh, no, 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 not at that point. He doesn't get that until retrieval. Is it ever stated that that's the case, or...? It's not stated, but it's more of a possibility, because, like, he never demonstrates that ability in the fight with Naruto. Like, he just does only the fang over fang. And well, I'm gonna, you could just you know, but... prove that he didn't feel the need to do it. And, and exactly, that too. So, like, it, it just, it depends. But, yeah, no, it's not stated, like, um, what's it called, like... I would have to go back. Maybe I could be wrong. Cause it's either it was stated to where like Kiba says, "Oh, we've been training and we got stronger, or we have a new technique now," and that was stated, so it would only be at that point in time. But let's say like that's not the case, and it wasn't stated, and I'm just wrong in that, or we're wrong, then Kiba would definitely win though. If he does that technique, actually, you know what? Shit. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I do think I remember him saying something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did say something like that. It was it, it was either anime only or it was in the manga as well. I just I just don't remember if that is the case though. So, but either way, let's just say if we give that to him, Sasuke would lose. He's not fucking with that. I don't give a fuck. I mean, he's losing it at. But um, but if he doesn't have that, I, I don't know. I'm gonna give it to Sasuke. I'm gonna give it to Sasuke. I think Kiba. You think Kiba? Like Kiba does have those it's, smoke bombs, and let's be real, that counters a shotting gun. You know what I mean? If, if, well, if smoke bombs can counter the Renegon's vision, you ain't gonna tell me it can't counter the fucking shotting gun, bro. <laughs> oh, you know? But he ends up in this weird situation here, similar to like Hinata, except obviously he doesn't get his or get shut down. Yeah. Um, Kiba has a counter to everything since Fang. But Fang over Fang is too fast for you know, like Ren Sasuke to deal with. That is true. Fireball, it is insanely it's fast. The fang over fang. I think Kiba. And if he lands, like, you gotta keep in mind because again, the only reason why he didn't get that second hit on Arco is because he farted. Um, if Sasuke does that part and he's not, mm -hmm. um, he's just taking a second hit and yeah. it's needed a third. No, I feel you. I feel you, man. So like, that's an interesting one. I'll say that bare minimum. I'll say his stats real quick, just for uh, just for you to know as well. Ken Taiji is two point five, speed is three point five. That's the most relevant, obviously, in this matchup. Um, and then Sasuke, because I just don't—I already forgot him. Um, well, that should be base because we gotta yeah. remember, like what you said at the beginning of this, he takes those chakra like yeah. And Sasuke, yeah, exactly. Sasuke is two point five, Taiji two, and his speed is three point five. Um, so, it, I'm gonna be real, bro, like, if, if we even take that, and look at that, and then if, when he takes those pellets, and he gets double his chakra, you know what I mean, whatnot, then his stats are boost, maybe Sasuke does really get fucked, you know, like, maybe it, it'd be kind of similar to the Lee situation, Sasuke can see him, but he just can't react, and he's just getting beat up, you know? Another problem, because we know that even with the Sharingan, he has problems tracking, like, multiple targets, like, with the um, cloak when yeah, you're fighting Naruto. Even with Killer B. That was a three Killer Tomo. B is an example, you know? Yeah. So, and that, that was, was three, three Tomo. Tomo. Yeah. <laughs> Here he has two targets, but he only has a two target. Literally, you know? So, that's what I'm saying. But with that being the case, you know, like, I don't know. Like I said, that could go either way. I'll just say that bare minimum. Um, you know, uh, either Sasuke takes it and somehow pulls the strategy and beats him, or Kiba just. You know, just way faster and beats his ass. That's 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 the only way. And unfortunately, mind if I say one last thing to try to convince you? Yeah. Okay. So again, it's two targets. Um, once Sasuke gets hit the one time, he's not going to have the ability to run. 
and yeah. they're just going to keep hitting. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, like you know what? I like, I'll, I'll just I'll be real. Like that is true. He is fighting against two. It's not just one person. It's it is two people. <laughs> so, you know, if he's fighting against two, same speed and everything, blah blah. Like Sasuke probably does get beat up by Kiba. <laughs> like even it even trying to tumble Sasuke, bro. <laughs> If it was only Kiva, Sasuke couldn't get the win. But considering it's just two, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could understand what you're saying. It could just be too overwhelming, too much pressure to where even if he's focused on one and he's able to react, he just wouldn't be able to react to the other in time. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like it's literally pace tactic. Yeah, and that, that was what was happening to Naruto. Like that's why he was getting bit. Like don't get me wrong, we know he was he was wasn't prime technically, but it was nerfed. But even nerf Naruto was just he was just fucked. He could not fuck with both of them. You know what I mean? So. Um, it is what it is. And then not only that, I don't see Sasuke pulling the same strategy Naruto did either. Of him transforming and doing a Shadow Clone to try to trick Keyboards. I don't think he would do that. I, like, I, I feel like that's an out-of-character thing, you know? Didn't he only have problems, like, sensing Naruto does not just melt so bad? Yeah. Um, what's it called? No, no, no. He knew which one was the right Naruto, but when he punched Naruto... Naruto uh, transform into Akamaru again to make him oh, think yeah. he fucked up. Yeah, he tricked him. That's right. But I, I just don't see Sasuke. That that's like some Naruto shit. You know what I mean? Like Sasuke doesn't do that type of stuff. Like if he would have strategized, he would do something more like on a Shukamaru type of thing, to where it just it would make more sense in that type of intellect, you know, situation. You know, um, Naruto just has like that really unpredictable, smart type of strategy. If that makes sense. I think Naruto also was taking a page out of um kakashi's book as well yeah. kakashi did something similar to him during their bell test oh yeah that is true yeah yeah all that too yeah so that's what i'm saying oh yeah, yeah yeah that is true because yeah no you're right because naruto eventually says the same statement kakashi said during the bell test right after doing that <laughs> uh, so but either way you know it is what it is like Kiba probably does take it more possibility wise, even though like this that that clearly would be that's definitely a debatable topic. I'll say that, um, and I do feel like you know the majority would obviously side with Sasuke. It's Sasuke, let's be real. Um, but I, I, it's understandable to say Kiba could win. You know what I mean? Um, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll just keep it at that. And when two against one, and you name it, and just the speed, and you name it, blah blah. Like even looking at his stats, I don't know. I think Sasuke actually does get fucked. Like it would, it like the only way think, Sasuke would beat him is if it was, um, like you know the the one with the Shidori in this in the then got faster against that same Kiba. I think that would slam that Kiba. That Sasuke would slam. Yeah, he would slam. I'll, yeah. So I'll give this to the Sasuke then. If you took any, because Kiba needs all that in order to win against the Sasuke. If you take any of those things out, yeah, the one the one v two or the chakra pills, the Sasuke gets it no problem. Gotcha. Yep, so we have that. Uh, then we'll move on to the next. Uh, what's going on? I'll just go with Tamari. Tamari still slams him. I'm going to be real. Like, he, he can't do anything. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, like she blocks weightedly. Like, she can block all his attacks. You know what I mean, she can react to weightedly and be like, I thought you were faster than that and kind of roast him. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, it's just, I don't know. I think she just gives him the beatdown. Like, the only thing he has as an edge over her is his fire style. Um, you know, because we do know fire beats, it, it makes... Actually, no, no, no. Uh, fire makes wind fire stronger. Fire enhances wind. So she, yeah, that's, he's even fucked. <laughs> so, like, so... Well, actually, no, no, no. Wait, no, yeah, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, fire and um, wind enhances fire. But the thing is, I think her wind jutsu at that point is too strong for Sasuke. And, 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 and that, that makes sense because... We do we do have a moment where Haku says like that level of fire style won't won't work on my mirrors. Basically, her admitting that fire style can counter her mirrors, but only if it scales high enough. So fucking a modern house. Yeah, it, it literally. So um, what's it called? So yeah, so like theoretically, what you could say scaling wise, if Tamari is you know her wind wind is so strong, it could still blow through his shit. And we've seen that countless of times. We've seen that with the Raikage with his lightning armor against Rising Shuriken. We've seen that, um, what's it called, with, uh, you know, uh, fucking with Shidori um, being used against a lightning cloak armor. It's both the same element, but it was still able to get through. Like, so, like, no matter what, all because it's weaker or whatever doesn't mean, like, we see it with Madara. Where Madara just fire style against, like, hundreds of water style ninja, you know, like, so, and they were able to cancel, you know, and out. So, at the end of the day, 
all because like you know it's your weakness doesn't mean you can't stalemate it or beat it you know um because let's be real like if moderate did his fire style against one of those ninja with their water style they would have died <laughs> you know like it took like hundreds of them to do that shit you know so uh ken is correct on that but either way um tomorrow just wins and that's that uh then you have what's it called a uh, neji come on like that's neji would still slam um rockley simple he would still slam gate one or just without weights okay uh then you have uh fucking shikamaru uh this is interesting because i don't think either one is speed blitz in the other um like shikamaru is gonna know that he's no joke he's an ochiha he has a shot in him blah, blah blah and i'm gonna be real with you like i do think shikamaru would somehow some way outsmart him and get the shot of possession and win the fight. I, like, I do believe that. You know what I mean? But, like, it's either that happens or Sasuke just is too much for him. Doing all those, you know, those wire shit and you name it. And, like, fighting and keeping the pressure on him and then fire style and then he loses. What do you think? You ready for me to piss off more Sasuke fans? Sure. <laughs> Shikamaru takes it. God damn. Okay, why? <laughs> okay, Shikamaru's lazy. Yep. Yeah. Shikamaru doesn't do a lot of training when he doesn't have to. So I don't think he was training when the exams happened. Yep. And he just flat out able to dodge a direct attack from Tamari. Yeah. Effortlessly. So this is how this works. They go to square up. He sits there and he goes, okay, my opponent is a literal Uchiha. Yep. He was trained by Kakashi Hadeke. So yep. I'm going to have to be careful. He throws a flash bomb to counter the sh um, Sharing Gun. Yep. And then hits him with the Shadow Paralysis. And then does the same trick by him against some stick. GG's, yeah. <laughs> like, that got all the flute girl summonings and everything, yeah. So, that's what I'm saying, yeah. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, once again, it sounds nuts, but, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I mean, Shikamaru, <laughs> he, he's that guy, and he's, and, he, and he's definitely way smarter. Like, come on, we're not, we can't bullshit with that. He is smarter, you know? So, even stats says it. Kishimoto with the stats says he's smarter, you know? Um, and then, not only that, I'll even pull up his stats as well, Shikamaru. You know, so now the only contentious part of it is like whether if this is at different points or if this is just overall in their base, whatever. But either way, um, you know, like his speed is 2.5 or whatever. Um, Taijutsu is 1.5, Genjutsu 3, Intelligence 5, maxed out, Stamina 2, uh, Hansa 2. So, like, hey, back. I'll, I'll it doesn't really make sense though for Shikamaru. This has to be referring to him in the beginning, probably during like either the preliminary. You know, or or in the no no no, I wouldn't. It would be yeah, it would, yeah. It would be during the preliminary or the force to death, to be honest. Because like this doesn't really make sense. Because if he's over here reacting to Tamari and shit, you know, and all that, and her stats are way higher, like that that's a contradiction. Or it's this is his base stats, but like if he does chalker control, then it gets high enough to compete against people that have higher stats. You know, there is there is another counter here. Mm -hmm. That could be that. Because it's something that I was talking to somebody else about. Yeah. Um, the sound ninja are very hot at the beginning. Yeah. So she just wasn't going for Gotcha, gotcha. But I still think it was impressive that he was able to avoid hits from her. So yeah. I still think at least this weakened Sasuke, not weakened, this weaker Sasuke than the one we see later on, yeah. would still probably lose again. Gotcha, gotcha. So... As, yeah, either way, but that's that's some, that's some of it, what you get for Shikamaru. Uh, next thing will be Dozu. Um, I'm just going to be real with you. Dozu was completely confident enough to fight against Sasuke. He actually wanted to. And the only time he ever felt threatened from him was CM1. So, like, I, like I'm going to be real. Like, I do think Dozu's beating his ass. Like, Sasuke would basically, like, you know, we've seen him fight against Wade Lee, right? Dozu goes to yeah. fight against Wade Lee. They're both, you know, reacting to each other, whatever. Um, and then, like, Lee's like, all right, I'm just going to use, like, the first gate to, to beat him. Because th the fact that Lee couldn't just beat him all up with just weighted speed alone goes to show that they clearly scale to that similar level. And and it's... To be fair, because there is one thing you have to give, you got to take away, at least as far as this goes. Yeah. The only re reason Lee did that is because he was like, okay, it's a three-on-one fight. Yeah. I'm going to get exhausted if I go at this normal. So I'm going to use the Lotus hero fast and then take out the other two after. Exactly. So he and was he was doing it for like time. 
time. Yeah, and he was, and what he was probably just going to do is do that, and then use the second gate. Now he's fully refreshed, back at 100 percent stats, and then he would just continue to faster. go. Yeah, and then he would have just bullied the other two. So the fact that like Lee had to use the first gate, because basically this is what it is. Lee would have had to either take off his weights, which apparently is a rule that he can only do that if he's given permission to, which is weird. Um, I get it. It's probably like a training thing where yeah. he wants to be pushed. The guy wants him to push himself to his limits. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. So like, if it's Lee, like you know what I mean? Like if he takes off his weights, obviously slams whatever all that. But like, so but Lee's not going to take off his weights at that particular moment. Okay. You know, and and Lee would probably only do that if it was really, really necessary, like life and death type shit. You know, um, what's it called? So like, that's why he was like, "Fuck it, I'll just do the first gate alone." And that's even with weights, five times more speed is just insane. You know what I mean? And then obviously weightless or first gate, that's even more crazy insane. So, um, so yeah. that it was enough to do the job basically. But either way, basically what I'm getting with this, if Dozu is on equal ground against weighted Lee. And Lee feels like he's at a disadvantage with a three-on-one situation, okay? And obviously they have, like, who knows what abilities and shit, you know? And they're not just strictly tied to specialists. That's why Lee went that route, okay? So if you do all that and connect those dots, if Dozu can compete against that Lee and that Lee bullied Sasuke, do the math, that Dozu would still bully Sasuke. You know what I mean? He, yeah. he basically used his sound attacks. He would, he would fight. Sasuke would be able to see it, but it would be hard for him to react or whatever. He can't really react to all the sound stuff and everything, too. And he just gets fucked up. You know, like, and it's just as simple as that. There's nothing he can do. So Sasuke would lose to him. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, the only way Sasuke theoretically wins is if, like, Sasuke can do all that shit he did to Orochimaru on Dozu. But, I, like I said, I don't think it gets that far. I think Dozu could just use his sound to break all those wires and shit. He can just charge up like he did to Lee and he just go to attack. Sasuke tries to dodge. He gets hit by it and bam, he's fucked. And even Prime Sasuke, when he sees Dozu attack, he's like, wow, like I was barely even able to see him, you know? So like, it is what it is, you know? Now, obviously that was base Sasuke that made that statement. So if he has two Tomo, he would obviously see him, you know? But once again, it comes to the whole aspect of whether he can react, blah, blah, and it's just with sound and everything, there's just nothing he can do, you know? Um, this is also a range fighter as well. Yeah. So at most points, Sasuke would have to get in. Like, even the fireball probably gets dispersed by the sound. Yeah, he Which is stronger, so you like, just wait to freeze. Yeah. So, yeah, like, that's just not really a good matchup. Sasuke gets, gets beat up. Um, then you have, uh, what's it called, Zak- uh, Zaku. Uh, I do think Sasuke beats him. If he's struggling against yeah. Sakura, which is just fucking pathetic... Sasuke would whoop his ass. Same thing with the girl, the sound girl. Um, then you have Konkuro. It, it would be an interesting and really good fight because we do get some I, type of implication with them, but I do feel Konkuro would beat his ass. Um, what's it called? And like, it's just, it's interesting. You know, like we see Sasuke throw a rock in his hand. He's like, hey, cut that shit out. Konkuro gets annoyed. He's Konkuro like, you was know. confident against a stronger Sasuke. Yeah. You know, so. That's, that's what I'm saying, you know, so it, it is what it is. And, and yeah, that, that is a thing, too. Yeah, Conqueror was willing to fight the, the final tuning exam, Sasuke. You know what I mean? Um, and then uh, fucking Shino was like, nah, I got this, bro. Like, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Whatever. And then not only that, Tamari also fought against that stronger tuning exam, Sasuke, as well. Um, they did have a fight in the anime only. So, but either way, what's it called? With Conqueror, like, the way I see it is... He would just basically, like, they would fight each other, fill each other out, whatever. I don't think either or is speed blitzing. Um, what's it called? Like, if you if you go towards the scaling of Tamari and everything, then he would get fucked up still. You know what I mean? Um, because of how... Like, speed blitzes. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, if, if Tamari was able to react to Wade Lee and be like, oh, you're not fast, bitch, or whatever, and that Wade Lee was beating up that Sasuke, then there you go. Tamari slams, Conqueror slams. You know what I mean? Um, but let's say you want to be generous, which uh, you guys can tell I'm giving a lot of generous uh, generosity to Sasuke. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to be nice, even though I, I really don't have to. Um, but let's say that's not the case, and it boils down whatever, blah, blah. I still do think Conqueror would have the edge because Sasuke has – there's no way for him to know that that fucking – the, the one he thinks is the real person is not. So he'll do all his shit, whatever, think he won. Well, actually, <laughs> he does have a way of knowing. Oh, yeah, he can see the chalker strings, the shotting gun, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if that's actually the case, then he would know it's a puppet or something's up, and then 
cockroach. But see, you wonder what's funny about that? Okay, no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. I was like, I was about to say something stupid. But yeah, no, you're right, you're right. So if that's the case, like, basically it comes down to a puppet battle against Sasuke. And I'm going to be real with you with what we see with him against Shino. Like, Sasuke, he can be able to dodge and do things, but I don't see him dodging fucking poison smoke bombs and shit, you know, and all that. Like, I feel like... Shino felt the need to keep out of sight when fighting this man. Yeah, you know what I mean? And so, like, clearly the puppet was pretty fast. So, like... So yeah, Sasuke will be aware that it's it's a puppet and he won't be caught off guard. I'll give him that. That is true. Ken is correct. But I just think it's going to still be too much for Sasuke. You know what I mean? Like he's going to be dealing with poison smoke bombs. The puppet coming at him with all kinds of poison. It's going to be some source to sorry shit all over again, you know? And it's like, it's either Sasuke is able to deal with the puppet or deal with Conkro and he pulls a W or Conkro just wins. Poison, you name it. You know, but either well, way, again, either way, that's being generous. That's being generous. You know? Yeah. So that's being generous. Either way, I think he just still outscales him, and he would beat his ass. You know, it is what it is. You guys can be mad about it, but that's just what's presented. Um, and then next thing you have is, uh, yeah, I already said Gara. I already said Neji. Um, we already said Hinata. We already said uh, Naruto. Do 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 do. Just making sure. Who else? Ten 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 ten. So ten ten wins. 10-10, this is funny <laughs> as well, but, like, I do think 10-10 would have the edge. She has the edge in the stats from what Kishimoto provides. And then, not only that, like, she she did fight against Tamari. Because that, that, that's what a lot of people forget. A lot of people just think she just got instantly no diff. Like, in the anime, she's literally, like, running around, you know, whatever. And, like, and then it does a time skip. And it just shows all her shuriken everywhere. And that's the same thing that's presented in the manga. And the, the only difference in the manga, it doesn't show her running around. It just goes straight to the time skip and just shows her on the fan. You know what I mean? So, but it does show all the shuriken everywhere as well. Clearly, clearly showing that they had a fight though. You know what I mean? So meaning, Tamari was not able to speed blitz. You know? So if Tamari was able time. to speed blitz, there you go. You know? At that point in time, I don't think losing to any of the sound three is an anti feat. But I think anyone in Tintin's situation would have lost that fight. Yeah. Like even Sasuke, like we talked about later, was gonna would have lost that fight. Yeah, you know, he needed C M one. He needed that in order to yeah, like there's no way. Yeah, so um so yeah, so like Like I said earlier sorry, I'll wait. No no no, go ahead, go ahead, you're fine. Like I said earlier, Tintin literally described as someone as being a weapon master. Yeah. A mastery of um, ninja tools. This would include stuff like swords and all that. Yeah. Meaning if Sasuke comes in for hand to hand combat, she can fight him off with her blades. Yep. If he goes from like long distance, she can summon And Sasuke doesn't have a Byakugan either. Like he can see all the blades and shit of what's in front of him, but if she's over here doing like attacks, which she can remind you, that's attacking all of your blind spots, you name it. Like she's literally having training sessions with Neji and exploiting his weakness. And targeting his blind spot to make him improve and, and train and be better. So if she could attack all around on somebody like Neji, and Neji has to clearly use rotation and shit and whatnot, you know, like to stop all her like blade attacks. And whatnot. I'm, not, I'm not saying that like Neji just like can only beat her because of rotation. That's I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying when they're training and whatnot, and she throws all her blades, okay, he does use rotation to compensate and whatnot and to help, you know, with his blind spot and blah, blah, whatever. So basically what I'm saying overall is she does have the ability to strike all around you, not in just one singular direction. You know, so like, Shotgun can only see what's in front of you. So if she's doing attacks like that and also able to fight, you know, you name it, and also potentially scales to Tamari as well, in a sense, bro, like, he's getting his ass beat. <laughs> you know, like... Oh, yeah. Well, that's like a feed on. So, like, Neji thinks she's powerful enough that she's worth, like, even just being a sparring partner. Yeah. And, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So, like, it's just, I don't know, bro. I think 1010 takes, that, like, takes that in the bag. As crazy as that may I think sound. Even, like, weightless Rockley, like, says, like, she's pretty good. Yeah. Like, she's powerful. Like, don't sleep on her. But I will be generous. Once again, I don't have to, but I will. And if that is not the case, and they're somehow on a middle ground or whatever. Because I'm going to be real with you, Sasuke's not speed blitzing her. That's bullshit. Okay. Then it boils down to, like, her using weapons, him reacting, whatever. And if he's able, once again, to somehow impl implement a strategy and injure her with, you know, his Taiji to Shuriken and Shotting abilities, or do what he did to Rochimaru and Fire Style, then sure, GG, Sasuke wins. 
But if that happens, then I just, I don't know, man. Like, it's really, really, really hard to say whether he can be able to pull something like that. And tension at that time and day would be the only time that I feel like it's understandable to say she was over Sasuke. And I mean, just what everything we know and what she can do. And once again, a fight was clearly established. You know what I mean? That it did happen with Tamari. You know what I mean? And whatever. Like, it is what it is. Like, we do know they did fight. There was shuriken everywhere. You name it. So it just, it makes no sense to really think that, you know, she doesn't even scale to Tamari in any sense and just got completely no diffed or something, you know? So, um, but you have that. Uh, the only other thing would be Choji. Um, now, I'm going to be honest with Choji. I do think he loses. And the only reason why I'll say that is because I do think Sasuke would be able to dodge his attacks. You know, he'd see it or whatever. He would dodge, you know, keep moving. Um, and he could somehow do like fire style at, at Choji or, you know, do something, maybe even wires to restrain him at a certain point or, I don't know, like maybe some paper bombs. He'd do something and he'd be able to like beat Choji and just outsmart him. Um, but that's just me. Like, what do you think, Ken? No, oh, no, Sasuke wins. Yeah. Even if we say he does none of that, he just keeps dodging Choji until he tires out. Yeah. And also, you know, you have that. Um, like the only the only best like thing Choji really has, like I know he did fight the sound three as well. Um, but like let me see. Um, yeah, like he goes he charges at Zaku, but then Zaku just does like his slicing air. You know what I mean? And then he like rolls himself up. Um and he was about to like hit Dozu or something and whatnot, but then like something happens. Like they like, either way, they were all able to like deal with it and then he like got dizzy and like he like spin and he threw up or whatever or got sick from it, you know? So, and then either way, we see, like, Choji fight Dozu. Dozu just jumps out of the way and, and no diss him. And I mean, like, so Choji's clearly, like, under their, like, Dozu people's level like that. And if Sasuke's not, you know, you know what I mean, like, why not? So, like, you just correlate everything and, yeah, Choji would just lose. Like, I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with that. You know, obviously, if it's, like, the Choji that's shown in the retrieval, he would slam that Sasuke. Yes, that's what would happen with fucking pills and shit. I don't want to fucking hear it. Um, even though there's probably people that don't even believe that Choji wins, but uh, yes. Uh, but either way, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about preliminary, so it is what it is. Um, unless I'm forgetting somebody, and I really do apologize. Um, the only other people I can think of still would be the stretchy dude, and uh, you know, and Kabuto. That's who it is, right? And that's about it. That's all we have left. Yeah, um, Ken as well. He beats her up, trash. Um, so yeah, the stretchy dude. Like, you know... Neji? I, I do think oh, Sasuke didn't. beats the stretchy dude. Yeah, we did Neji already. Um, I do think Sasuke beats him, it, you know, and that's just basically what you have. Like, he's just... He doesn't really have anything. only thing he has is speed blitzing a puppet of Conqueror's puppet that he was controlling. But then Conqueror smarts him. And then, I think you know, Conqueror will let him get it. And that's fine, too. And that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that could be an equal possibility. So it's like, it, whether... If it's a speed blitz, you know, whatever, on the puppet, like, that's... Who cares? It's a puppet. You know, and that's just, you know... Conqueror controlling it. It's not really technically Conqueror or whatever, but it is what it is, you know. But bottom line is, like, we don't know if it is his people. That's the problem. So we just don't well, know. Well, because remember that right after that Conqueror, like, puts him in the puppet. Yeah. So it's just easier for him to let him come to the puppet. Exactly. Like, he wants that to happen, you know, to outplay him and bait him. Yeah. So it is what it is. So um, so basically, technically, with higher possibility, it wasn't really his speed blitz, and the guy thought he outspeed him, and it was like, oh, concede or die. And that wasn't the case at all, you know. So, I, at the end of the day, just to be safe, the guy is feetless. He doesn't have anything. We don't know. <laughs> like, like, so Sasuke just beats him, all right? So, well, let me tell you this. Yeah. I don't think that random guy is on the same tier as Lee. Yeah, no, hell no. So. All right. Um, so, other than that, uh, the only other thing, yeah, it would be Kabuto, the holding back. And I think it would just, I, I think that would still go the same way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Kapito would just oh, test yeah. him, whatever, you name it. Um, and basically, like, you know, like, it would just kind of be that, and then you just concede and just not want to do it anymore, you know? But if they were forced to go at it or whatever, um, Kabuto would start losing. But, you know, like, if he continues to hold back to that such a large degree, um, he would lose. But if he's not willing to lose and he gets serious, obviously Kabuto would win. He's Kakashi level. That's all you have. I think fight. he would adjust so. how much he was holding back depending on how strong he thought Sasuke was. Yeah. Just because they really wanted to test out Sasuke. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's all you have with that. But overall...
prime Sasuke. Now we're going to talk about C1. This is extremely quick to dissect and go through. Ino and, and Sakura, no diff. Come on. It's CM1 Sasuke. Like, at the end of the day, guys, like, CM1 Sasuke, that, he did have some impressive showings. Like, and that was a really badass moment. Everybody loved that moment. It was just really cool. Um, but, like, literally right here in this scan, you can see Dozu. He's, like, the energies of the curse are working around the entire body. Like, he's, like, getting, clearly getting... Are we talking the CM1 from the Forest of Death? Yes, from Forest of Death. Okay. Um, so Dozu's like getting really fucking shook. Like he's like his chakra is immense. He's like too large for his body to, to contain even after we, you know. And then Zaku's like he's you know like trying to be a tough guy. He's like snap out of it, Dozu, whatever, because you know blah blah. And then Zaku and he's like Zaku, no, like don't you get it? Like we're clearly outscaled here. Zaku does his strongest attack, the supersonic air slice, like destroys everything. Like in the anime, it was like fucking huge. In the manga, it looks small, but in the anime, it's way, way bigger of a wide radius and just, like, fucking blows everything away. Like, it, it would kill anybody it hits. Like, realistically, if that did hit Sasuke or anybody, which I do believe that, Sasuke literally had to move out of it still. Even with CM1, he even he knew he wouldn't be able to tank that. So, you know, it is what it is, but he basically moves so fast, he can dodge sound move, basically. Speed of sound, okay. He's able to, to dodge that fucking attack. He gets behind them. He's like, uh, he's like, he's fast and strong enough to lift both of them at once, which just proves the whole thing that Sage Mode does make you faster and stronger. Because this also is Sage Mode in a sense. It's like a, a artificial uh, source of it, basically from Jugo. Um, if you guys didn't know that, but either way, uh, then he does like his fire style, you know, that he always does in character. He creates an opening, um, and then he gets behind Zaku. Now, this is interesting. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how you feel, Ken. Do you think? Sasuke had to do a diversion technique in order to get behind him, or he could have just still done that with raw stats. Um, no, I don't think he did. Um, I'm gonna say something real fast, and it's gonna spoil the rest of how I think this goes. Yeah. But Neji himself states that with that power that Sasuke has, yeah, Sasuke is a formidable foe, meaning that Neji thinks Sasuke is on his level. Mm -hmm. So this, um, Sasuke would be like gates to Sasuke level, bare minimum. Okay. Yeah, and so, and so basically. Did I say Gage two Sasuke? Yeah. Goodness. I meant Lee. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. Yeah, you said Gage two. Yeah, I know what you're referring to, and that's fine. Um, and basically, the the scene that um, what's it called that he's referring to is right here. At, like Neji watched the whole thing. Um, he's like by birth and by his own abilities, he's a formidable foe. You know, after seeing um uh, cm1 so if we take it along the interpretation that neji thinks he can be able to fight against even him that he can be a threat to him that means that this sasuke and just cm1 would scale to gate two you know um bare minimum um what's it called and that's with that and then you have uh another thing as well with that too is like there is a, a, another scan where neji does see sasuke getting his power and then he just deactivates his Byakugan and he's like no no like, you won't have to deal with me. Somebody else will take care of you. So people do have, like, their interpretation of that where Neji still doesn't really feel, you know, threatened or whatever, blah, blah. Like, he's like, oh, cool, he's strong. And he just deactivated his balcony. He didn't, like, see, like, you know, start freaking out or, like, he, they were all in danger. So, like, it's interesting. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to go in that direction, then you can upscale Sasuke in that manner, technically. Um, or if you just think that's his Neji kind of just, you know, tipping his hat, you know, down and basically being like, okay... He's, you know, he's a formidable foe. He's strong, whatever, but he still can't fuck with me. You know, I'll still beat his ass or whatever, some shit. And there you go. It is what it is, you know? So, well, but... To be fair, the fact that he's saying a formidable foe... Yeah. He'd be, compa he'd be comparing it to himself. So he would think, like, someone is, like, someone who would be, like, around his level. Mm -hmm. If you think Neji still wins that fight, that's fine. Yeah. But it means that he still thinks that they're, like, relative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one thing I was referring to, guys... Um, is this particular uh, scan right here? He's like, from the look, so he turns off his bag gun. He's like, from the look of it, we won't have to. And then Sakura turns around, she's like, Sasuke, you're awake, and just shows all the purple chalk around him. And everybody's like, uh, what the fuck? Like, what's happening? <laughs> you know, so like, and everyone's all spooked and freaking out, but Neji's just perfectly calm and, and collective. And he's like, eh, I'm gonna have to do it. He'll do it. You know, so you guys take it however you want. It is what it is, um, but that's what we have with the CM1 Sasuke, and uh, basically he just bullies Zaku, breaks, you know, we know what happens, he beats his ass, um, and then once all that goes down, okay, 
uh, basically Dozu, like, he just concedes. Like, he just drops the scroll. He's like, all right, yeah, you got this, buddy. You know, we'll come back. You're really strong. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can fight again. And uh, it won't go as you think as it went this time. You know, some shit or whatever. You know? So, and it is what it is. Um, but that's basically all you have, uh, like, with CM1. And uh, the only other thing that I can have is uh, they say Sakura's, uh, Sasuke's chakra is completely unlike what it was. When we were in school together, is is it really Sasuke? What on earth happened to him? Things like that. Um, and then you have this scene. You have this scan. Um, well, uh, it's the same thing while we were tripping. But, but yeah, so that's the gist of it. So with all that being taken into consideration, okay, and we have that. Basically, now we're going to decide dissect it once more again. So obviously, as I said before, Ino and Sakura get destroyed. Okay, Dozu gets destroyed. We literally saw that. Zaku gets destroyed. We saw that. The other chick, destroyed. Uh, Naruto, he also gets destroyed if he's in base. What's it called? Naruto, we're not going to give him the QB. That's just not, that's just stupid. Um, what's it called? So Naruto gets destroyed. Kiba also gets well, destroyed. Well, Nar Naruto literally can't use the QB. That's the reason why I'm yeah. going to put the curse mark. Exactly. Yeah, he can't. So yeah, he's just fucked. Kiba also gets destroyed. I'm pretty sure you would agree with that as well, uh, Ken. Um, yeah. Then uh, Choji, destroyed. Then you have uh, Neji. So Neji would still win. But it would be, in my opinion, it would be with low diff. You know what I mean? Like, he would be able to fight against him, whatever. But Neji would basically, you know, still be able to react. Wait, low diff? Yes, I think it would be low diff. I don't know if I can eat that one, Chief. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, the only reason why I'm saying low diff is just mainly, once again, it's like with the, the CM1. Yeah, like with the CM1, like it's like. The, the, the problem is the most arbitrary uh, aspect of it is we don't the quantification part right we, like we really, you know we really just don't know like so when if it really does get him up there then obviously that would change it's not low diff or whatever um but if it's like if you know if it's not and if it's just you know boosts the stats in a way or whatever um to where it just makes him more dangerous and whatnot but at least neji just you know like respects that source of power and whatever you know then there you go because the one thing i will bring up as well is when neji is in the retrieval arc and he sees that Spider-Man do go into CM1. He's like, oh, it's just like Sasuke's and blah, blah, blah. And we saw all that win, and Neji could still beat his ass in hand-to-hand, -hand, you know? So, um, like, the way I see it is Sasuke's still going to be at a disadvantage when it comes to Taijutsu due to the Byakugan. Like, when it just comes to Taijutsu, I just don't see Sasuke beating him at that game, you know? Now, I don't think Neji has rotation, though, at that point either. He does. Oh, he does at that point? You think so? Neji's had rotation since, like, early on. Like, he learns that, like, towards the... I thought he didn't like, learn that until the it, final exams. He had it before the, the finals. Okay. All right. Well, if, if he has rotation, that's even worse. I'm going to be real with you. That's even worse. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, CM1 Sasuke, bro, like... It, like, it's just, it's really hard to know what he could do within that form at that point in current time. You know what I mean? With that line of... Two Tomo Sasuke, you know what I mean? Because once again, this is not final tuning exam Sasuke where he has like close to wait list, you know, and Shidori and shit. So like, we, there's just so much we don't know with this with this Sasuke. You know what I mean? We know a certain degree where he gets a caps at and where he's already above. But when it comes to people like Neji and Lee and Gara, I still don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Um, I still think he, he could lose. Neji wins, but it's a mid dip. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. He's extremely fast. I just don't think he has the jutsu in order to actually pressure him the same way he would if he had like this Shidori. Yeah, like like for instance, like if it, if it was Naruto with the nine tails that we saw fighting against that Neji, even though arguably that's a stronger Naruto in a sense, and Neji gets stronger to a degree as well because they're both training. Whatever, we just don't know what degree. But either way, like you know, if it was that Naruto against this CM1 Sasuke, I do think that Kibi Naruto would slam him too. You know what I mean, like they're not gonna be doing like blow for blow or some shit like like they were doing with Neji, you know? No, that's so, fine. I, I I can I can take that. Yeah, but like it, it's it's interesting. It, it's either like I said, guys, it's either it's basically this is the best way to picture it. It's either the fight goes exactly what we saw with QB Naruto against Neji, or uh, you know Sasuke's able to do some things, Neji reacts, whatever, and then he just beats him. That's it. You know what I mean, like. That's basically what you're working with. But either way, Neji would still win, no matter what. Whether if you think it's mid-diff or low-diff, I don't think it's going to be high-diff. I think that's just... I don't think that's the case at all. Um, but what's it called? And then either way, once again, like, you know, that's just what you have, you know. But we'll move on to the next. Lee, 
I'm just being blatantly with you. Like, I'm just being legit. Um, if you could go along with what Ken said in that line of scaling, okay, then basically he would be able to obviously fuck with weightlessly. Um, he would be able to... Um, actually, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So... He could fight against so the he could fight against probably weight, weight, weightlessly, that. but I don't think he's gonna be able to fuck with first gate weightlessly because there's a difference between weighted first gate lee and weightless for uh first gate lee. You know what I mean? But, um, real fast, if you don't mind, one of the things we didn't we're not taking into account is like with the preliminaries, um, yeah. he can only use this form for so long, and then it's gonna mess with his body. That is true. Yeah, he so anyone who's able so. to outlast him wins. Me and that too, yeah, because then his body, it just completely takes over and he dies. He dead out, he literally just dies. So, um, that is true. There is that too. He is on a time limit, but like, um, I, I don't know how you feel like, once again, this is extremely, extremely, like, we just, this is like a, a we just don't know type of vibe, but, um, I feel like it's safe to say if we go along what you granted Sasuke to at least scaling to gate two or whatever, okay, then he should be over weightlessly. Um, what's it called? But if it's, uh, no, he should be over, like, gate one, weightedly, and then weightlessly, maybe he's over, or he's the same, um, you know, or actually, no, fuck that, because, you know, with the, okay, so, it'd basically be over weightlessly with gate one and two, um, what's it called, and also weighted, like, I it, will it, say something to contradict my scaling from earlier, yeah, um, we do know that Neji and Lee are always training so more than likely they're actually massively stronger by the time they get to the exams oh of course yeah so you know what i mean like there's that but like um but at that point in current time like that that's just a weird part of it like we don't know where the cm1 eventually gets over a certain point when it comes to lee um you know what i mean what you know so that that's what's really tricky about it but what i will say you know no matter what is bottom line is lee's gonna win no matter what if he goes to the third gate or above there's nothing Sasuke's doing to win. Like, I just, I don't want to hear it. Like, because you guys got to remember, when Sasuke moved, you know what I mean? Even, like, to dodge Zaku's attack, like, yeah, we don't really see because, you know, there's just a big-ass blast wave and he gets behind him, um, you know? And then, um, actually, no, 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 we do get to see him move. So, this is this is why I really don't think he's nowhere near that or anything. So, when, when Lee moved with just the fourth gate, he destroyed the entire fucking stadium and area around him. He had so much chakra and so much power. Just by stepping on the ground, it completely destroyed. And when he moved, everything blew up. And everybody was getting overwhelmed by the force of power. Okay. Well, Sasuke, he does a fire jutsu as a diversion. Then moves at full speed. And nothing breaks apart. Nobody's getting, like, overwhelmed by, like, some pressure or force or anything. It's just not the same emphasis. You know what I mean? So, basically what I would say from observing that and everything, if it's third gate and above, I just, I don't I don't see that. And that's if we're granting him to get all the way up to gate two, you know what I mean, to scale to that way, or to at least scale to fight against Neji, things like that, etc. Um, you know I mean? And that's basically what you have, you know? And, and also, you know, wherever you even consider him to eventually surpass. Because once again, there's a difference between weighted speed, weightless speed, and then, you know, first gate weighted, first gate weightless, etc. So, but it is interesting, um, you know, but either way, Lee still wins. So, you guys can have fun with that poke. You can whatever. But do you have anything else for that, Ken? Or, or what do you think? No, I don't have anything. Um, the only thing I can add is um, Lee at this point is definitely also a better taijutsu fighter yes, than... absolutely. Okay. Yep. Way better. So, he, he had to, like, he had to practice and and use his moves in training to prep for the final exams to even be to have like a similar uh taijutsu threat level you know what i mean so well, just speed alone like not even like skill yeah so uh, so you have that but yeah so like that's what i'm saying like lee still has the advantage in taijutsu you know what i mean like with all the gate like it's just it is what it is um but anyways so we have that and then with gara like once again, if we grant the all up to the the second gate, uh, Sasuke is definitely going to be able to you know speed speed blitz in a sense. You know what I mean? Like he'll be able to get through the sand and land some blows and whatnot, and then you know and etc. Um, but the problem is he's not going to be able to hurt Gar or make him bleed. I like this. I, I don't. We don't have anything to prove that he could make him bleed with just Taijutsu alone. Um, and even if he did like fire style with the CM1. Maybe it could like 
hurt him in a way, but like I don't think it would hurt him like to where he's like severely like fatally injured, like you know, like some Shidori shit, you know, or even pretend to be. Like, honest, it, it's dude, really I weird. I don't think this Sasuke is using fire style. So uh, against Gara, I don't think he's using fire style in any fight because this Sasuke. Well, he uses fire he style against the, the three sound members in CM One. I mean, that was later. That, that Sasuke has more control over his person. This no, 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 like, no, even in the like, forest, in, in the forest of death as well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, no, in the forest of death, like, he has, like, no control over the curse mark. I don't remember him using the curse at all. Yeah, in the forest of death, uh, he uses the CM1, um, that, that was the first time he used it, ever. The second time he uses it is when he, he uses fights the against CM1. Garth. I don't think he uses the fire style alongside him. Yeah, no, he does, yeah, I, I have the scan and everything. That's what that's what he does. That that's why I was asking you before, where there was a question when I asked, and I said, "Do you think Sasuke can move fast enough to still speed blitz Zetsu? Um, what's it called without oh, no, Fire Saw as a diversion, or do you think he needs to do that in order to be, you know, to do whatever?" And I'll, I'll even show it right here. Like, oh no, it's fine. We discussed uh, the majority of them um, with Hinata. Um, that's that's an interesting one. You know, it's either... if you think he scales to um, gate two lead, Sasuke yeah. wins. If he doesn't, Hinata probably could still get the win, but it's definitely gonna be high diff. Yeah, yeah. If she does win, it's high diff. If she doesn't, um, then you know it's for him. It would just it would just either be like low diff or it'd be high diff. You know, whatever. So, um, but that's basically how that would go. But that's an interesting one. In my opinion, it really, especially with the whole with her, how she was able to put up a good fight against Neji, um, and then the only other thing, uh, the, uh, the only other thing, Shikamaru. I think he, yeah, he just gets bullied. Like even even Shikamaru, he was there when that all happened, and he was like, yeah, we can't fuck with this. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> like like we can't do anything, bro. Like sorry guys. Now if it's Shikamaru in the retrieval arc, that's a different story. But this particular yeah. Shikamaru, he's yeah, he's capped out. Like if he was still relevant. You know what I mean? And whatnot. Like, he would he would not have been, like, scared or sweating or, like, oh, we need to hide. Like, he literally told, like, Choji, you know, like, we need to get away. Like, this is getting really bad, you know? So, oh, yeah. Um, I and feel that's like, something that came to mind. It's all three of them. Yeah. It's not even just Shikamaru. It, it, literally, it's all of them. So, like, yeah. And so, Choji, Slam, all of them get Slam. Basically, everybody gets Slam. The only person that could, you know, could be able to win would be Neji, Gara, and Lee. Um, Tama Gara. Tamari... Um, to conquer on Tamari is interesting. Um, what's it called? Like, it's, I think they win. You know, it's it's interesting. So it depends, like where how far you even scale them and whatnot. But you know, if we go along the whole route of like how Sasuke can now be to gate two and whatnot, then I do think they would lose because, like, Tamari only like she's able to block Weighted Lee's attack. You know, but, like, that's the only line of, like, scaling she really has at that point in time. And then she's eventually shown to, like, combat against Shikamaru. And he's able to dodge all her shit, you know. So, um, but, but then again, you could just argue that's a stronger Tamari at that point or whatever. But either way, like, it's it's interesting, man. I don't know. Like, Tamari and Conqueror, like, it's either, if they win, it's high diff. Um, or, what's it called? Or, like, you know, it doesn't matter and he just still loses to them. It's It's really interesting. Um, I do think he did, he beats up Conqueror, though. I don't think that's going to be any issue. Um, like, I know he has all the poison and shit and whatnot, but I, I, I don't even think it gets that far. I think he just straight up just bullies his shit. Um, but Tamari... He's not falling for the public. Yeah, yeah, like, Tamari, like, she has her win thing, and that is, like, a really effective to keep distance. That's what's really strong about it, you know? So it's like, if you think she's able to fuck with that line of scaling... Which, I'm going to be real with you, I don't think she would be able to fuck with Gate 1 Lee um, or anything like that. Or even even Weightless Lee. Like, like when Conquero and Tamari were seeing Lee fuck up guard, they are like, he's just so fat. Like, they were, like, blown away. You know what I mean? Like, they were like, what the fuck? Like, you know, so, like, I don't know. Like, you know, I think with that logic, they, they would get bodied. Um, but if you don't scale Sasuke to Gate 2 or anything or to Neji's level, and you still think he's, like, way below, but he's just stronger in a sense, you know, and whatnot... Um, then basically, you know, like they could probably be able to win, but it would, it would be like high diff or whatever, you know? 
Um, but it's it's though that that's, that's really interesting stuff. It's really really hard to know how that would really go, but because like I said, their line of skilling is just so vague. Um, but the only thing there's a lot of speculating. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation, and the only thing we do know, like like I said, to, like the only thing you can kind of maybe say that they just get washed is they were really really blown away by Lee's uh, you know weightless speed and even gate one. Like when he goes gate one with weightless, like they were just like, what the fuck? Like they were just damn. Like this guy's just so fast, you know. So if we once again, if we go by that logic, Sasuke should just be able to slam. Doesn't matter. But if they're within a similar ballpark or can at least contest, it's interesting. Tamara can counter basically anything he throws. It's going to be be really hard for him to get to her and whatnot. If she was to try to exchange in Taijutsu, he would obviously have the advantage in that. But once again, the hard part is him getting to her. Um, and same thing for Conqueror. He's going to have to deal with the puppet. He's going to have to deal with the poison shit. You name it, blah, blah. Like, so it's going to be an annoying fight in a sense. But it's it's really interesting. Um, you know, so it is what it is. I think Sasuke wins no matter what. That's just me. Um, but, you know, that's basically what you got. Um, the only other thing, we totally spaced out on this. So I'm just going to say this really quick. Shino, we totally fucking spaced out on this. No one um, cares about Shino. Right? Like, nobody gives a fuck. But... Obviously, handicap Sasuke the Shino wins. Um, what's it called? If it's prime Sasuke, I do. Um, I, I, yeah, Shino would win. He would beat him too. Um, what's it called? Like it's mm, like that fight's really because even Shino's like fucking scaling is like so goddamn weird, and we don't really he know. He covers Sasuke and Buzz and takes comfort. Literally, right? Like so, like I, yeah, like. Shino probably just wins, like, don't get me wrong, like, Sasuke's strong, but, like, they'd be in a normal, they, I feel like it's fair to say they would be in a normal ballpark, you know what I mean? And so they could be able to react or whatever and deal with each other, but with his bugs and you name it, that's just such an advantage, and I don't see how Sasuke can deal with it. Like, yeah, he has fire style and stuff, but, you know, like, it's just, I don't know, it's really weird. It's really weird. And then, like, if he does that female bug to Sasuke, which, mind you, this was a stronger Sasuke, and Sasuke didn't even know Shino placed a bug on him, so... You know, he would definitely be able to land a bug on Sasuke, okay? And basically that bug, you know, would make all the other bugs go to Sasuke and eventually they would, like, you know, get on him or whatever. So he could even be caught off guard. And if that happens, he definitely loses. But that, that fight can go either way. I'll just put it that way. It can go either way. I don't know. We, we really don't know a lot with Shino. The best feats he has is eventually fighting against Conqueror. But for all we know, he could have just got stronger. We just don't know. So, Do you um, think Shino's bugs would have chakra? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. It's a good, it's because good if they do, well, that could be a really well, good the only thing, the only thing I do know is, uh, like, Itachi, he did do Sukiyomi on millions of bugs. On a guy that uses yeah. bugs to fight. And we do know Genjutsu can only be effective on something that has chakra inside of it. Well, Sukiyomi forces your chakra into the other people. That's why it can work on the tail beast. Oh, Okay. Um, it's also why the, um, the higher forms of the Sharingan can work on, like, the dumb yeah. sage creatures. Well, actually, like... uh, actually, well, no, the bugs, they're, they're like creatures and stuff, so they would just have, like, nature energy base. So, yeah, it does have its own, like, yeah. source of chakra in a way. Yeah, it's like nature. Well, nature energy is specifically described as different than chakra. Again, yeah. it's why, like, only Sharingan users can really, like, place, like, sage, sage creatures under Genjutsu. Yeah. But... Um, I don't know, because realistically, you should also be able to track that. Yeah. I don't see why the bugs would, wouldn't have chakra. You know what I mean? I feel, um, whatever, you know, it's either they do or don't. If they do, then that's even worse for Shino. He can see it all the time, so whatever. Um, well, I was thinking more of the Actually, case, what like, I will if, say... If Sasuke yeah. uses the Sharingan, yeah. and they do have, like, a chakra network, then it's going to mess with the Sharingan's track. Yeah. What I will say is, I don't even think, um... That's actually the case because when Neji does his Bakugan and he's curious to look at Shino, um, he sees like his whole chakra and everything in his network, but he, and he sees all the bugs, but it doesn't show chakra and the bugs. It just shows all the chakra in his body and then all the black bugs inside of his body. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure like if bugs had chakra, he would be able to see that and it didn't show that in the, the panel. But then again, that could just be ignorance. I don't know. So, but... Either way, you could argue either or. Yeah, um, it could be if, the chakra, or. if they have chakra, then the bugs I think would mess with the track of the Sharingan. Yeah. If not, then it's just gonna be like a bunch of bugs in his way. Exactly. So that's basically what you have. Um, 
But, you know, it could go either way. I don't know. It's weird. CM1, though, would obviously slam. So. Oh, yeah. Um, but that's basically the all you have. <laughs> you know, uh, this video took quite a bit. I didn't expect it to be this long. I thought it would actually be nowhere near as this long. I knew it was going to be, like, like, a little bit long, but not, like, really, really long. Oh, real fast. But, real yeah, fast, probably. You know, he would... He would have to get serious if he he can't hold back at all. You know what I mean? Like there's no there's no competition at that point. He would have to get serious immediately. He would either have to concede, get bullied, or go Kakashi mode. And if he goes Kakashi mode, obviously he's getting bullied. Sasuke is not fucking with Kakashi, even in CM1. That's ridiculous. He just does so, what he does. He's an idiot. He just turns off his heart. Yeah, yeah, literally or whatever. So like, there's just so many ways. Yeah, he just slams and that's it. But. Um, but yeah, that's basically the gist you have for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more content, subscribe guys on the channel, especially if you like the Naruto vibes and you want more content like this. Um, once again, I do apologize for this video to be so long, but then again, you guys got to put into consideration we were talking about multiple versions of Sasuke, you know, the handicapped, you know, Prime Tutomo, and then eventually to CM1 Tutomo um, during the Forest of Death. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but either way, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.